Hello, hello, hello. Hey. Hello. hey King. Welcome hello. out, everyone, to Sitting episode on, 23. <laughs> what's, what's with the titles, guys? <laughs> okay, just call me by my name, all right? King. You um, told us to say this. I told, yeah, no, I know. You shouldn't remember that bit, though. Um, how, was, how was Toxic Sunday? Oops. You guys feeling okay? <laughs> yeah. Good. Yeah. It wasn't toxic. Depends how it goes from here, Joe. Mm. Yeah. Oh, oh, shit. You'll see. No pressure. Okay. On, King. On okay. Where, like, yeah, it what's sets going the on pre tone. Now. Okay. Okay. Well, welcome out to episode 23, everyone. Uh, this is the final episode where we have awkward time zones because we're not playing next week. We come back the week after and we should all be back to normal. So if anyone's like having to start an hour later <laughs> yeah. and whatnot, it's, uh, well, you know, <laughs> enough for Shane because Arizona doesn't believe in time. Um, mm. No. Facts. Before we get started, uh, has anyone got anything they would like to shout out that they've done this week? Oh, fucking no. <laughs> fucking crickets, dude. Jesus Christ. I played 27 cookies. hours of Dragon's Dogma 2 since it's come Good out job. on Friday. Nice, nice, nice. Well, yeah. How many hours? <laughs> 27. I'm proud of him out on okay. Friday. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. I'm just hanging out with Benji, who's like 45 in and can't speak properly, so. Dude. <laughs> I'm actually worried about him. He needs to take a fucking break. <laughs> Let me get excited for his release. Uh, oh. This episode is uh, dedicated to Benji. Uh, we hope you find some Rest time peace, to soldier. yourself. Rest in peace, soldier. We miss you. <laughs> Please stay uh, hydrated. Godspeed. Yeah. Take care out there, man. Okay. Come um, back to us. <laughs> Come back to us. <laughs> uh, well... If we can, uh, if there's nothing else to be said, let's get into the episode. Do you do you have anything to sh to shout out? Yeah, Joe? do you there, have anything? How to was shout your week? Out? Terrible. Yeah, I, oh. uh, I it was awful. I had my power go out uh, due to an oh. explosion at the station uh, down the road. Oh, uh, oh my okay. god! And, and then, then what? And then they delivered a generator to the power company because they legally have to after a certain amount of time. Uh, and, then? and then that night, uh, some thieves decided to come on by, cut and steal the wires, <laughs> knocking off and the power for the happened? entire day. What? Okay. Then, then they okay. then 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 the electricity company comes back and they put in new wires, so we got our power and back then? on. And, and then the thieves came back the next night and. Uh, <laughs> Are you, this sounds made up. No, it's true. <laughs> no, I saw dude, them. Holy I was like shit. in disco with Joe, and he like chased them away with a fire poker. <laughs> yeah. <first time. laughs> Which is probably why they came back. But then uh, what, the second like, I saw the them, of... three guys in balaclavas um, <laughs> going around so cutting the wires. So you've seen three guys in balaclavas. Oh what the wow. hell? Uh, yeah, it was wild. Uh, uh, what and do the... you think they're going to do with those wires? Well, I learned from the electricity guys that those wires <laughs> uh, for a pack of five is five grand. They're a grand yeah, per they wire. they sold for a lot. Oh. Wires so sold. The next a lot time, Joe's going to take God. them and sell You know them. what? It all makes sense. And then they, and then they hired a security guard a dude was sat outside of uh, uh, my home, like on the drive, Holy with fuck. fucking big old dogs <laughs> from from, from, oh from 9 p.m. until 7 a.m. the next day. Uh, but it's back Holy up now, shit. as of yesterday. Hey. So uh, no more thieves. Yay. So that's fun. Holy fuck! What mm. a story. You should so, share a story every week, honestly. Uh, hopefully that doesn't happen every week. But it does mean <laughs> that I didn't get to update the box below. Uh, because I truly got my power on yesterday. So, uh, you guys are still level five. Uh, no, I'm kidding. They're level what six. Fuck? This is not accurate for this week. Um, but all, all that's going to be changed is the health goes up by a little bit. So, uh, mm -hmm. uh, just imagine this, but a little bit higher. Um, okay. So, let's get started with episode 23, shall we? Uh, let me swap up some of the music, and then we'll get into it. So... Let me put on this one. Rumor has it. The six of you were inside Sigumbra. You'd been confronting Salandru about going down in the tower into the hollow base of Sigumbra, the town, to find out what secrets lie there, what is causing people to be tethered to this place. Upon confronting him, the guards, the creatures from the Shadowfell that came with him, turned against him, attacked him with spear, and battled against each of you before a shade was unleashed. With the help of Abigail and yourselves, you managed to battle back against each of those creatures, slaying them all, and defeated the shade. 
When you traveled beneath into the base of Sigumbra, you saw the many faded lights of each of the civilians that had lived in this town previously. Only a handful remained, still tethered, being fed upon by the creature that would that was true polymorphed into this structure. Seeing the tethers physically, and knowing that you could only cut a few before being recognized and found out, and knowing that the town was up to something, preparing for something, you chose the following to save. Salandril, Vandervol, Garst and Holtz, Shabul, Silas the Bard, and then technically bringing out with you Bullbiter, Connell Rump, and Dallin. Upon escaping, the town as it vibrated and started to cast some form of magic, you watched as it teleported, disappearing into another realm. Or another region, I should say. <laughs> Leaving you all in the Glam Glades, alone with this group you've saved. Some refugees around the area who have kind of pulled away from the fighting in the streets only 20 minutes prior. And alone out there in the woods, with no town in sight, and your group. The stage is yours. Hmm. Right, well. Cap, then. <laughs> yep. Yes. Everyone, we have a lovely camp uh, right along the way there. If we could all just stay calm for a couple moments longer. They were kind of like channels like themselves. Um, you see them kind of like talking. Holtz is going to turn towards you. Hold on. What's, what the what the fuck was that? What is going on in this place? Where's our home? What's... We could... Um, it's probably better to walk and talk, I think. Yes? We're kind of nodding to each other. Uh, they'd follow your lead. Um, kind of coming back towards wherever you've encamped out. Uh, most of the other refugees, the people that were kind of just visiting the town and got out of there, they, they're leaving. They're, they're kind of moving off because they're, they're locals. Can't they, blame them. Yeah, they decide, Do not blame them at all. Yeah, not to stick around. Um, but the others, the, the ones you saved uh, primarily, and maybe one or two others would come with um, and follow you over towards your camp, which was embedded within eye shot of Sigimbrat, but nice and kind of secluded in a, in a clearing. Um, they'd all kind of come inside, sit down and like rest up, some of them just pacing and walking around. Um, Shibble would step over towards you, Tack. Mm. We, are we going to do something? My, my father's in there still. Um, we don't have any intention of, of leaving things as they are. But there are some things that we need to explain to everybody, so I promise I'll answer your questions as best as I can, okay? Okay. She kind of pulls back and sits down. Um, and the group as a whole kind of all just like gather and some of them folding their arms, others continue pacing, but some sit and kind of wallow in what was the recognition of what they've just gone through. Now it's kind of flooding into them. Um, <clears throat> recently we came to believe that there was a lot more going on with Sig and Brat than maybe any of us realized. It was more than just a, a floating magical city, um, that underneath there might have been something more going on. It, it all started when we first got there, when we were given the task of finding basically the battery that let the whole village move, that gave it its power. We started to realize that some people 
in the city could see and understand and do things that other people couldn't. And we pulled at threads and we asked why, why that was the case. That for some of you, you were able to remember things, were able to remember people that some of you had forgotten. That some of you were able to leave the city. And many of you were not able to do that. And potentially when push came to shove, maybe you couldn't remember a time that you had ever left. And if you're starting to ask those questions now and they're making you feel a bit of panic, you're not alone. Everyone we asked, everybody experienced the exact same thing. So we kept digging and we kept pulling and there was something much darker happening in Sigenbrot. And so Tech will look at everyone else for a moment. I know that this won't seem fair, but we saved as many of you as we could before it was apparent that everything was going to fall apart. And I know that that's not... Among them. Again, I know that it shouldn't have been up to us to decide who got to leave and who didn't. It shouldn't have been up to us to decide who was saved. But it was obvious to us we had moments to make that choice and to save as many as we could. And we have no intention of leaving things as they are. We want to help more of you. And so I'm sorry that this is the situation that we're in. And I hope that you'll all understand the position we're all in now. And that we want to help. Can you give me a persuasion check to essentially... I believe in you. ...alleviate their fears, their doubts, and kind of convince them exactly everything you said was true? Mm-hmm. Persuasion, yeah? Please. Unless you're lying about helping them. <laughs> I'm not. It's a 16. I don't know if anybody can help me out <laughs> that at all. I mean, aside from, like, nodding and backing you up on it, I'm not really sure what Carlisle could say, at least, to make that any better. Yeah. I can guidance it. It's really yeah. just our word at this point. <laughs> I know. Another person being like, yeah, yeah, does it really <laughs> do much? This. This also. Okay, so 19. 19. 19 with the guidance, okay. There's a bit of talking among them, and they kind of start, start talking over each other. Um, but it calms quite quickly for like each of them to start kind of giving each other room to, to talk. You can kind of get the sense from the group that they're accepting what you're saying, but they're not sure what emotions to feel right now. There's a kind of a, 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 an element of just, just stress that's kicked in. Um, speaking over all of them, you just see Holtz just goes, Oh, it's over, wait, wait, wait. Everything you said is true there. What do we do now? Well, we'll just... there's, you know, the the bad news, as Tack said, right? The town is gone. Um, I'm going to try to figure out what else we can do, but it's gone. Good news, we are not. Um, we are headed towards Marigold, and you are all very welcome to travel with us. I kind of look across each other. I don't know that now is the time to um, be anxious about a long-term plan. But in the short term, it's Marigold. We can figure out what to do along the way. Kind of murmur to each other. Solandro kind of speaks up and goes, I know I wasn't a present mayor too often to all of you, but the 
thing that made our town what I believed to be great was it was our home that kept moving. We are safer if we do not split up. If they are going to help Sikkimbrak in any way, we should remain close to them at least. Until we can work out a path. Vanderbilt that leans in. The way I see it, not much different to the moving town, just a little fucking slower. All right. Exactly. And, she, and of course, you will need to walk rather than... Right. You know. Great. If we have the one cart... Right, we do and have a horse. horse and a cart, so okay. good news. Put that in the wind right. column. Okay, like still just talking among themselves, and then um, all bites just steps up. He goes, "Hey, so there'll be more work then. You need us." <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're gonna. Gonna be plenty more work going forward. For you to do your own self. No, 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 no. I'm saying. Master Bullbiter, oh, are you are you suggesting that we pay you to accompany us to Marigold? No, 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 no. Okay, good. Because that. Well, would be if you ridiculous. want to take us out of the camp, I'm gonna need to see you... some green. Hey. Absolutely are welcome hey. to travel with us, should hey. you choose to do so hey. on your own, hey. without payment. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> he sounds like he's dying, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and if you need me, I'll pay. Oh, sure. I mean, if I need you. Hey, there's it's no entirely up. Hey. Okay, okay. It's entirely <laughs> up to everyone who is here. <laughs> Whether you want to stay with this group or not. If some of you would feel more comfortable staying near where we were, for obvious reasons, um, then you are more than welcome to do that. All that we can do is guarantee you that we do not plan to leave this place forever. We do plan to come back and again as I said, help in any way that we can once we have more information, once we know how to help and what to do. Kind of another among themselves. If I may suggest, Sir Andrew says, we stay in encampment, don't take any risks. And on our way to Marigold, we can figure some things out together. So it's, the Glam Glades is dangerous. We're better to have a guard ahead of us who can escort us out of here. I kind of get this general tone of everyone just comforting one another. Both thankful to be part of the, the, the chosen ones, but also kind of an element of guilt in the air. Um, but they all, they all just start kind of, you know, pulling themselves together and nodding their heads and you get this general sense that they, they'll come with you so what's our direction we're going to marigold next i believe that was yeah. our plan before all of this i think that makes the most sense still It'll offer a lot of options for anybody who wants to break off. Or if we need supplies, we'll be able to get anything that we need there. And to Marigold. The entirety of them um, are kind of standing up and, and agree. Uh, you have yourself companions which is probably a good moment to introduce the bastion system you each 
will now have an encampment, which we can serve as kind of a home base. This encampment, uh, you can choose to opt in or opt out. If you're not interested in kind of uh, base building and and kind of these these uh, weak events, um, you can opt out. You don't have to be part of it. Equally so, you can design your bastion uh, to be among one another's bastions to help each other. You have your own kind of features to, to look at. We'll go through each of you. Um, or you can separate them entirely. You could have a different encampment. You could have like five different camps and different people live in different ones, if you'd prefer. But whilst you travel around from now on, um, an encampment is going to follow in your wake. Uh, you can choose to sleep here. You can choose to go on ahead and leave it behind. It will every once a week, every week there will be a uh, a bastion roll. But I'm going to start referring to it mostly as encampment because it's your one is not necessarily a keep or a structure or a town. You're going to have this kind of moving encampment that's going to get stronger and stronger as time goes on. But uh, the system in place is one where you can get passive and active benefits from building up a little town. Um, before I ask if anyone wants to opt in or opt out, you can all opt out, of course, if you don't want that. Um, but uh, I can tell you a little bit about how it works. So, the initial portion of a Bastion system is... Uh, each of you gets... Let me get my document up. Uh, to choose two special facilities and two basic facilities. Basic facilities, um, and I will link all this kind of stuff in the document for you. Uh, basic facilities are mostly aesthetics. Uh, be stuff like a bedroom and whatnot that you can kind of build upon. You can get a bigger... For you guys, because you're a moving encampment and less of a kind of base structure, it's going to probably be determining around the size of your tent, what you put in your tents, what you kind of uh, other things you have there. And then in the future, potentially even moving buildings that you can bring along and things that can be pulled up pretty quickly. The special facilities, though, can bring you uh some benefits i'll get on to how they work soon um when you're away from your bastion uh, a bastion turn occurs every seven days on a bastion turn you can do one of two things if you've issued an order to your bastion in that week or if you're there for the entire week at your bastion um you can give out the special orders <coughs> That will be to your special buildings. The buildings, for example, one of the special buildings is a barracks. You could you could ask to recruit new soldiers to it. Um, or if you're away from your encampment, you automatically do the maintain uh, action on your bastion turn. This is rolling bastion points. Now, bastion points, it's a very simple system. It's going to sound heavy load at the front, but it's very simple. Bastion points uh, are rolled once a week, and uh, they are... You find the, the actual dice roll. Um, each week, it depends on what you're doing, but it's usually 1d4 uh, bastion points for each special facility you have if you take the maintain action. If you're there, it's also the kind of same thing. You can spend bastion points whenever you level up, and you can spend them on getting magical items. Oh. So... Uh, <laughs> To give you an example, starting at level five now, uh, each week you're going to get two d4 bastion points. This will this dice will improve as time goes on, um, and you'll get more ways to get bastion points. But uh, up until your level, you can get common and uncommon ones. Common magical items will cost twenty bastion points. Uncommon ones will cost seventy, and then from level nine onwards, you can get rare ones for two fifty, very rare for three fifty at thirteen, and level seventeen you can buy legendary ones with seven hundred. So. Essentially, this is a means of you basically passively growing uh, a, a list of points which can be spent to build magic items of, of your kind of... There's going to be an element of rather randomness to it, or you can kind of suggest what kind of item you want to go for. Because thankfully, you've got yourself a magical item creator. Uh, not only in, in Desmond being able to help, but also uh, Vandervol is a, a magical item shop owner who can create magical items. So this is going to be manifesting in that way. Now, your facilities are... Um, uh, and there are other fun ways you can do, uh, do some stuff with bastions, which I can explain as we get there. Um, some bastion points can spend to, to give yourself an advantage on all charisma checks for a week, etc. Um, you can get some pretty strong little buffs. 
or your facilities in general, the basic ones to begin with. You have three different size categories. You have cramped, roomy, and vast. These are made up of five foot squares, uh, five by fives. Um, cramped rooms will have four five foot uh, uh, squares. So if you wanted, say, a, a 10 by 10 room, uh, where it's 10 foot high, 10 foot long, that'd be a cramped room. Roomy is 16 squares and vast is 36. So different rooms get better. As you level up, your bastion will level up with you. By the end of the, the campaign, you should have a pretty vast one with some pretty incredible buildings and, and, and stuff to, to look into. Each of you gets two basic facilities to begin. Basic facilities are bedrooms, <laughs> courtyards, dining rooms, kitchens, parlors, storage, washrooms, that sort of thing. So basically a little portion which you get to carve out yourself. Um, it doesn't have to even be through that list either. You can be like, I want to I wanna have you know, some sort of unique little training ground here. Uh, it doesn't have any functionality. This is basically where you get to decorate and have fun with it. Um, you can also upgrade the size of these uh, uh, these facilities. At first, you have two cramped ones. Um, you can spend gold to increase the size. Again, it's not really for, it's mostly for the role play if you want to have a cool uh, domain. Add in doors, windows, closets, that sort of thing is all free. Um, uh, and then you can also build a defensive wall around the perimeter. Uh, which is 250 gold per five foot square. So it's expensive, um, and it does take 10 days to make, but if you build around your entire base, it's going to help out big time um, if you are ever attacked, which we'll get onto battle events and whatnot and bastion events later on. So, those are your basics. This is where it gets really fun. Uh, special facilities. You each get to choose two. Now, again, you are building up before I dive into this, is anyone wanting to separate their bastion? Now, separating your bastion means that you would be building up your own little encampment, but it's it's just far enough away from the other encampments that in an attack, you wouldn't be sharing resources to defend. Um, I see. There's no real downside to combining, but if you want, if you were like, I want to have my own quiet corner, which is like, you know, uh, a five minute walk away from their camp, and you just wanted to build it that way, you can do. Uh, there's nothing to stop you guys sharing out some of your resources. You can't share out your bastion points. They're all individual. Uh, there's nothing to stop you going, okay, I'm growing potions in, in my one. I'm going to give those potions to someone else. But if you do combine your bastions, you can lend your defenders to others if they don't have defenders. So it's only one Which person. Which one of our characters is a really trash neighbor? Like, just the fucking worst. <laughs> is, oh, I should ask as well. Is anyone you. wanting to opt out? He's like, I don't give a shit about this. I don't want. I don't want to do it. Yeah, I want to sit around in silence <laughs> while everyone else does it. <laughs> I didn't imagine anyone would say yes, especially when I could go for a walk. There were massive downsides to not joining in. Just yeah, yeah, because you just fucking leave for the session. <laughs> you, you don't get oh, access is this to week anything a if you don't do session? it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, it was it was in their suggestions for when you introduced the system, and I just thought it'd be crazy if anyone said no because it is just a free resource for earning magical items. Um, yeah, right. So it's 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 a peculiar thing to opt out, I guess. But I guess if you just don't, if you just hate the hate the idea of it, um, I hate items. I don't yeah, like owning things. You, you could just hate the idea. I don't want to play house. What am I for? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let me go back to fighting dragon. Um, yeah. So uh, there are different uh, orders that you can give on your bastion turn. Um, the orders can be given to one or more of your special facilities. Um, for example, you have craft, crafting. So uh, if a facility can, can craft something, um, you, you can basically issue it to craft the certain items, say a potion of healing in, in the garden. Um, uh, empowerment can empower players. I don't think there's any level five ones, but level nine, some of those start to come in. Harvest, there's some resource ones. Uh, recruit brings in more people to your area. Research and trade, it's, it's all pretty self-explanatory. And then there's the maintain one. Maintain again when you're away from it. If you're like, okay, our encampment's moving slow, we're going to teleport somewhere else, or we're going to ride somewhere else, we're going to be out there for three weeks, you can still be checking on your bastion. The fun part of bastions as well horse and cart. <laughs> is that all of, the, all of the bastion turns are pretty quick. Um, uh, even the battles are pretty much like a one dice roll and we see what it does. Uh, you can role play during these turns a different character. Basically hirelings that uh, live um, among, among this place 
um, you can you can role play. Uh, so, for example, if you had the barracks, it, it suggested that you know you you can choose one of the characters that's there, and you get to describe how they win the uh, say say uh, a bunch of bandits attack the town or attack your camp, um, and and you each role playing one of the guards, and two of you die, you get to choose who dies, and then uh, role play this kind of bit of just completely narrative fulfillment of going, oh, the, you know, my character dives in, does this. This is what the hireling here does, etc. So this is kind of like yeah. little spare characters. You don't have to worry about a character sheet or anything like that. Mostly just for role playing to check in on the town. When we do our bastion turns, we can flick to those characters and see what's going on around the town as well and have a fun thing there. Um, but now we get on to special facilities. And I'll also explain the bits that I'm improving on this. And this is going to continuously get improved upon and there's going to be new features. These little facilities, again, each of you can choose two. Um, and then you, you get more as you level up. I wanted to... Uh, 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 oh, yeah, actually, yeah, no, sorry. I wrote down here as well. Uh, Bastions are actually going to take place every eight days because it's an eight-day week in, in uh, Sunforge. Mm. Um, but you'll get a little bit of a bonus. I am wanting to encourage uh, a reason for why you might... If you like NPCs or you like kind of finding characters and stuff, a reason for why you might recruit and bring them into your encampment. So, special facilities, depending on the characters you grab, can have a stationed NPC that you found in each of them to improve them in some way. Um, mm -hmm. So, for example, I mean, I'll get onto the ones you've got. If you had saved from Sigumbrat, the armorer, you could have probably got a bonus to the armoring station if you built an armory. Um, based on this person. So you're stationing NPCs to get a, an extra bonus. Um, so you go around the world and you meet new NPCs and you're like, hey, come and live at our encampment. You give them a reason to and then they can come and improve your base in some manner. Uh, sometimes that'll be military. Sometimes that'll be crafting. Sometimes it'll be trade or research, etc. But here's what you can start off with. Here are your choices. And I've edited a few of these to improve them. Um, at level five, a bastion can start off with the following. And we're kind of assuming that these are being crafted over the next course of the next eight days. An arcane study. The prerequisite on that one is you have to have the ability to use an arcane focus or as a spellcasting focus. The armory, there's no prerequisite. Uh, a barracks, there's no prerequisite. A garden, no prerequisite. Library, no prerequisite. Sanctuary, ability to use a holy symbol or druidic focus as a spellcasting focus, which I don't think anyone can, can they? What is the sanctuary like supposed to be? It's is it supposed to fill like the cleric druidy kind of healing vibes. kind of mm. thing. It it does. So what I might do is allow that one open to you as well. Um once we get down to you, I'll, I'll allow it open to you and you can see if you like it. Um okay. we'll manifest it to to make sense for your character as well. Uh there's a smithy which someone will need the fighting star feature or unarmored defense feature if they want to build a smithy. A storehouse, uh, no prerequisite. And in a workshop, you need expertise in a skill to have a workshop. Um, and then the ones I'm including as well, a stockade. Um, no, these three will not have any prerequisites. A stockade, um, so to have to imprison people. A mercenary camp. And a bounty board. And the extra three. So. Nice. Um, has anyone lost? Because <clears throat> we can get on to the next stage. Yeah. So just to reiterate. Not yet. You're, you get these bounty points. Uh, uh, so bastion points. And then you, you have two special, two normal. So. To go through what each of them does. Um, when you issue out your bastion turn order. Uh, if you were to build an arcane study. It's a roomy space. You'll have one hireling there. There'll be some hirelings which are just kind of like nameless NPCs that probably just come in as like townsfolk. You can order it to, uh, I think at level five, all of the orders are 1d4 bastion points for ordering them. Uh, so whether you're away from home or whether you're there, you're going to be earning 2d4 bastion points per week. Uh, An arcane study is a place of quiet research that contains one or more desks and bookshelves. When you issue the craft order to this facility, choose one of the following options. You can craft an arcane focus, 
Um, the work takes seven days, costs no money, and it remains in your bastion until you claim it, or, or you can have it sold for 10 gold. Equally so, you can do the same thing with a book, um, uh, which costs 10 gold, but can be sold for 25. So basically just a means of getting some passive money, or if you want to replace your spell book, etc. The Arkin study also imparts the following benefit. You can cast Identify. After spending a long rest in your bastion, you can cast Identify once within the next seven days without expending a spell slot or using material components. Um, and on top of that, I'm, I'm, I put an extra feature onto that one where uh, the Identify spell, uh, when done in this way, only requires somatic components and can be done at a range of 100 feet. You can basically Ooh. do a far range identify. In your encampment, because you saved Solandril, by stationing Solandril in this study, you can choose one of your spells equal to your proficiency bonus. This spell can be restored once after a short rest over the next week instead of a long rest. You only do that one more time. One time. Uh, if you can already do this as part of a class feature, the spell can be cast once as a bonus action instead. Okay. Armory. It's a uh, uh, roomy space trade. An armory contains mannequins for displaying armor, hooks on the walls for holding shields, racks for storing weapons, and wooden chests for holding ammunition. It is often connected to or situated near a barracks. When you issue the trade, again, someone, one of you could have a, an armory, one of you could have a barracks and still interchange. Uh, when you issue the trade order to this facility, uh, actually, wait, can you? Maybe not. I'll go back to that. Uh, you commission the facility's hireling to stock the armory with armor, shields, weapons, and ammunition. This equipment costs you 100 gold plus an extra 100 gold for each bastion defender in your bastion. If your bastion has a smithy, the total cost is halved. While your armory is stocked, your bastion defenders are harder to kill. When any event causes you to roll dice to determine if your bastion loses one or more of its defenders, um, so to give you an idea, when you do get attacked, it's 66 and on rolls of one, you lose that many um, uh, defenders. You roll a d8 instead of a d6. Uh, when the event is over, the equipment in your armor is expended regardless of how many Bastion defenders you have or how many you lost, leaving your armory depleted until you issue another trade order to the facility and pay the cost to restock it. I've also added in the option of when you choose to armor up some soldiers, you can rather go for armored fighters, which is this, the one we just read out, the d8 instead of d6, or you can armor them up with bows and arrows um, and uh, a 6 on the D6 will counteract one of the D1 rolls, or the 1 on the D6s. That makes sense once you come to it. Mm -hmm. um, but that's the armory. The barracks, which again, you can share off your troops across each other, but uh, bear in mind you're each going to be rolling a Bastion event, even if you are, are there. So it can technically be attacked 6 times, um, so there's a danger there. Uh, but it is a it's, it's a chance. It's a D twenty roll, and I Please think no. attack only happens on a uh, on one of the, those D twenties. A bastion can have more than one barracks, each of which is furnished to serve as a sleeping quarters for up to twelve bastion defenders. Each time you issue the recruit order to this facility, you can have up to four bastion defenders are recruited. Um, the recru recruitment costs you nothing. You can't issue the recruit order to this facility if it's fully occupied. Uh, keep track of the number of bastion defenders housed in each of your barracks. If you lose bastion defenders, deduct them from your roster. Assign names and personalities to your defenders where you see fit. You can also enlarge that to get 25 people, but it does cost 2,000 gold. You'll, you'll be getting a lot of gold later on. Um, How much later? Uh, well, as, the, as the game goes. Uh, <laughs> the garden. Uh, Rumi, it's a harvest-based facility. A uh, bastion can have more than one guardian. Each time you add a guardian to your a guardian to your bastion, choose its type from the following options: decorative, food, herb, or poison garden. While in your bastion, you can instruct the facility's hireling to change the garden from one type to another. It takes twenty-one days, though, or three weeks, you we should say, during which time no other activity can occur in this facility. When you issue the harvest order to this facility, you commission the facility's hirelings to collect items of value from the garden as noted. And the work takes seven days and costs you no money. So basically, when you come back the next week, you should have your materials. Before this time, uh, decorative. Um, depending on the rarity of the flowers you're growing, uh, you can basically create a bunch of bouquets or vials of perfume. Um, ten of them. Um, well, I've changed it up to... It's going to be 10d6 plus 10 
as the standard in terms sorry 10 of them but their price is, is going to be valued at 10d6 plus 10 but if you get rarer flowers that 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 six will go up to eight to 10 to 12 etc so you can earn a lot more gold by the rarity of flowers you get um so say if you go into the underdark and you get some super secret uh rare seeds and you grew them for one week maybe it's a d 10 d 10 d 100 roll and you're you know getting a shit ton of gold all that week um mm. food food uh can be grown there to bolster the bastion supplies if you grow food during the week all stations including all your friend stations uh will gain a plus one to their bastion points rolls that week um so they'll gain a it'll be 2d4 plus two that week instead of just 2d4 and then uh herb you can grow a potion of healing once per week or poison you can rather grow two antitoxins or one vial of basic poison you can also increase your garden by spending 2,000 gold, and then you can have two things growing at once. Then you've got... Um, I can link you this document, by the way, so you can flick through it. Uh, just look at the ones for level 5. Don't skip the uh, into level 9 stuff. Leave some of it for, uh, for some excitement. Um, the library. Uh, library is uh, uh, contains a collection of books, etc. When you issue the research order to this facility... You commission the facilities hiring to research a topic, or you do the research yourself. It can be a legend, a known event, or a location, a person of significance, a type of creature, or a famous object. It takes seven days, and when the research concludes, you obtain up to three accurate pieces of information about the topic that were previously unknown to you. The DM determines what information you learn. Now, because you saved Gars and Holtz, if you station either of those two in here, you can now learn one additional piece of information that is consider uh, considered secret hmm. and on top of that you can also research two topics at the same time but the second one you can't get the secret information on so basically you've kind of doubled up your opportunity there and that's if you put either of the two of them there uh next up is the uh, let me make sure i don't miss one uh i believe the sanctuary yes this one would be open to you tomato uh Sam, because you're a level in Paladin, do they use holy symbols or is it only clerics? Uh, they do, yeah. Okay, so technically you could grab this as well. Um, if you, if you know, so this is open to you as well. Icons of your religion are displayed in this facility. Or maybe what I'll do for you tomorrow is I might make a little medical one instead, like a like a, 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 okay. a like a mini hospital, if you will, um, which includes a quiet place for worship or spiritual practice. Um, you get the following benefits. You can craft the Sacred Focus, uh, uh, taking seven days. You can set it on five gold, but it basically allows you to replace yours. Uh, but you also get the ability to cast Healing Word um, on yourself or another uh, once per week. After spending a long rest in your Bastion, you can cast Healing Word once within the next seven days without expending a spell slot. The spell's level is half your level rounded down. So because you're level six, you'd have a, a level three Healing Word once per week you can use. Um... Next is the smithy, uh, which you need a fighting uh, style feature or unarmored defense. Uh, so I believe that's Bree. Actually, there's Desmond, V, and Morgan can all get these, I believe. Actually, no. Mor uh, yeah, no, Morgan, you should have from Paladin. Uh, ammunition or a simple weapon craft. Uh, you can commission the facility's hirelings to craft up to 20 pieces of ammo or one simple weapon. Take seven days uh, and cost you half the normal price of the ammunition or weapon. Or you can commission a masterwork simple weapon, which takes 14 days, costs you 800 gold. But if the spell magic weapon is cast upon it, it becomes a plus one magic weapon permanently. Um, you can also craft armor or equipment, uh, which is... I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to link this document to you now so you can flick through at the same time. This is all through their, their one. Some of the extra features is just on my end because I've added to it. Uh, you can commission them to make a medium or heavy piece of armor, excluding hide, 20 cow chops, a chain, 10 feet, a crowbar, grappling hook, hammer, etc. Loads of items. Um, uh, the work takes seven days usually, but 21 days if you want to go for a suit, a suit of armor and costs you half the item's normal cost. You can craft a martial weapon, same kind of thing as the masterwork one, where you can spend gold to get a permanent magical weapon, etc. The storehouse. Uh, this cool dark space is meant to contain trade goods, but can hold almost anything. When you issue the trade order to this facility, its hireling spends the next seven days 
procuring non-magical items that have a total value of 500 gold or less. You spend that money, um, but then you can sell on, you can keep on to those purchases if you want. Um, but although, or you can have the uh, Bastion go on to sell those items and get a 10% um, uh, increase to anything there. So you spend 500 gold to get 550 back. As levels go up, the amount you can get in there goes up and up and up. For example, when you're level 9, you can hold up to 2,000 gold there, and it'll be a 20% profit, so you'll be getting uh, uh, 400 gold every time you're selling each week. By the time you're level 13, it's 5,000 gold, and uh, and you're getting uh, 2,500 every week from this passive. So it's a good money-making one, that one. Uh, and then finally, from their official ones, I believe, is the workshop. Wait, did I say the smithy? Yeah, I did, right? Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Workshop. Uh is uh, a crafting station. It's a creative space where all manner of useful items can be crafted. Oh, wait, did I miss anyone's thing? Let me see. No. Uh, after spending an entire short rest in your workshop, you gain inspiration. You can't gain this effect until you finish a long rest again. When you issue the craft orders to this facility, you commission the facility's hirelings to craft one tiny non-magical object that can be made using carpenters, cobblers, glass blowers, masons, potters, tinkers, weavers, woodcutters, etc tools um you could ask for a cost uh, a costume a gaming set musical instrument a spell casting focus a bottle a shoe or a toy it takes seven days and costs you nothing unless the item is worth 10 gold or more in which case you pay half the item's cost um if you station shibul into this place uh and you decide to use the weaver's tools the work costs you nothing up to 100 gold and you can make her, uh, she can make up to your proficiency bonus in any costume of your desire each week. Then we get on to the three that I've made, um, which are the Stockades, Mercenary Camp, and Bounty Board. The Stockades are roomy um, and trade. If your Bastion comes under attack on the roll of a d6 on the sixes, you can capture one attacker. Um, this is going to be determined by the size of the creature. You'd have to get two sixes on the six rolls for a large creature, three for a huge, four for a gargantuan. This starts as a roomy bit as well, so you won't be able to fit a gargantuan creature in there to begin with, but you can capture monsters, you can capture creatures during this. Um, ban it's anything. These prisoners you could use for information, you could sell them back to their groups for coin, uh, you could unleash them somewhere, you could harvest them for resource, or maybe you can even recruit them. Uh... So that's basically just a means of you having a prison in your little camp if you want to capture anyone. And you could use this. You don't have to use this as a bastion thing. You could go out into the world and you can capture someone, bring them back there, and you've got a secure place. The uh, bounty board is a cramped space, um, but you can request a single bounty to be found from the local area. Um, and these bounties will become available to the party at the end of each of the weeks. Um, again, if you find an NPC that can improve that place... Maybe it'll be that you get two choices of bounties, or maybe the bounty will have better results, better gold, um, etc. And then finally, the mercenary camp is a... Um, you can swap to five mercenaries at your camp at a time. You already have three, technically, but you can fire any of them at any point. If you want to get rid of one of them and replace them, you can. Uh, you can issue an order for a mercenary to be hired from here. You'll be given two options at the end of the week if you take that uh, recruit uh, pick. Uh, you can pick between them. You receive the stats of the mercenary and their costs. Mercenaries can be recruited from here at their base cost rate per day. So you can, if you want to take them out into the world with you, you can pay them at a daily rate. Now, if you station Ghast or Holt here, you have a rare chance of a criminal mercenary showing up. When you make this roll, uh, when you recruit, uh, do the recruit order, roll a d20 immediately. On a 15 or higher, one of the choices will be a rare criminal. Additionally, um, with Garth or Holt stationed here, you can request uh, one of the two search for to have a prerequisite, e.g. mage, archer, etc. Um, so you can pick what you want to search for. So at the end of each week of a mercenary camp being there, you can basically pick between a couple of dudes. Uh, okay, and that is all of the things. I know it's a lot of front load information, uh, but it is very simple. Uh, the Bastion events will be just a d20 roll, uh, I believe, uh, uh, to each of you. Yeah, even if you've combined, um, because you get different features uh, uh, as it goes on. But I will say that they provide a D20 roll. I'm going to turn it into a D100 roll at some point with each one of them being something different so that you have a lot of difference each week um, eventually. So 
with all of that being said, and your kind of camera starting up, have you got any idea what facilities you would like to start building? Or do you want to wait for like a the first night of camping? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, it would be okay. happening. I mean, that, but... yeah, I know the two that I would choose between if someone. Yeah, I have. I have like the those. two. I guess for me, it kind of depends on. I guess for me, Joe, it makes sense for me to wait. Uh, okay. If you're gonna make something that's a little bit more geared towards actual <laughs> medicine, like a field uh, yeah. hospital, might wait to make a facility until there's something that's less <laughs> fixated on religion stuff because it seems like. That whole trip, I'm like looking yeah. through the Bastion thing, and there's a lot of stuff that's like, use your holy symbol to make a holy relic at like yeah, level yeah. nine and stuff like that. <laughs> you just take that. a scalpel out. We probably like, built a whole <laughs> hospital one based on it. Yeah. Um, yeah, because I imagined I would make like a like wandering medical cart, like a wandering. So thing. cool. Oh hell yeah. Yeah, a little medic uh, 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 refuge point. Um, yeah, we can start off with that. Um, you make so everyone take a bandage. What we'll probably we do. <laughs> is uh if you picked that one plus one other i can make that one and send it to you um uh and if you don't okay, like it you can pick another one because at the end of the day the you're two rolling i was gonna default. do was sanctum and garden uh sanctum and me. garden okay yeah yeah okay. uh and also in terms of uh, uh i'll tell you what as we go through each person um technically this is kind of stuff that's happening in the future so when you first start setting up your camp Let's imagine when you first go to setting up all of your campsite and you're wrestling for the first night. Um, we'll go through each person and we'll get you guys to design how you imagine your section of the the encampment looks. Like, how do you want your tent set up? Um, we can do that through the the basic um, uh, uh, facilities as well. Uh, so you can be like, you know, I want the bedroom to be connected. I want a tent that's bigger like that. Um, so, or you could, you could have a two-story tent if you like as it goes on. Um, but bear in mind, you only really do start off with two cramped facilities. So uh, if you do have a two story, it's going to be like, you know, five foot tall, little kind of tiny bit. So uh, and then we can decide how you want your special portions to be. They'll be next to your tent, essentially. Um, so uh, who would like to go first then? Do, do we want to um, if you want to start with you tomorrow, if you know what you're doing? Um, uh, yeah, sure. All right. So in, in this encampment, I imagine it's kind of. Uh, there's no there's no exterior wall because you're going in there uh, kind of just with the, with the basics of tents and whatnot. Um, in your section of it, how does your tent look? What kind of basic facilities are you picking between out of the two of them, and what special ones are you going? And how do you manifest? I those? think when I imagine what my what Carlisle's tent would look like, it's very here. I'll post a I'll post an image here because this is kind of what I was thinking. I'll put it in the uh, Discord group. Mm -hmm. Uh, the dentist cart from yes! Django. That's yeah. so good. Yeah, 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 kind yeah. Of like that kind of really That's sparse so on the outside with just like some basic. So cute. <laughs> yeah. And like the inside is just cramped medical supplies piled up to like the top. So what the kind I of think where if you open it, it would like threaten to pour out onto mm -hmm. Cartlab. <laughs> what we'll do then is we'll say over the first week, like as you guys are leading them across, they're building these kind of things. They're getting them ready um, so that, you know, people are kind of cutting down wood and kind of building these little carts and stuff and you can help out or whatnot as well. Um, you, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, so you've got this kind of little uh, uh, medicinal uh, uh, wagon there. Um, what about for your, 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 do you live in a tent? Do you live like adjacent to this? I think Carlisle would be pretty comfortable just like, like, bedroll next to cart like maybe a little okay. outcropping for like some coverage and like garden that's on the top so of the cart kind of oh that's Aww. so good i love okay. that i like that okay uh so um uh do you choose any of the two basic facilities again they're mostly there for aesthetics so if, if you're like nah uh you don't have to but if you like i, your I own... think i think carlisle wandering the land without light not much issue sleeping with pretty sparse bare bones accommodations okay i don't think he'd take much issue um he doesn't need a lot like that so if you're sleeping on top of that what about your garden how do you how do you imagine that looks like I, like i would say planters on the roof of the cart uh so like a ladder next to the cart planters on the roof okay yep 
Um, and then just someone who's helping out. Uh, uh, we can kind of come up with a person during the week, give you a chance to think on it, like who's looking after the cart whilst you're away, who's kind of doing that kind of growth yeah. and whatnot as well. Um, or the two people, one of them can can uh, man the, the medical station as well. All right, okay, so you've got your little cart where you're sleeping there um, and uh, 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 and where you're resting up. Um, so, uh, uh, and also I'll link the, the other three that I've got here for the other three boards in case you guys want these. Um, yes, we do. So, um, who is who wants to go next? I mean, I know what I want if go, no go. one else, if everybody else is still picking. Okay, so um, starting off with your 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 living facility. Where do you where do you what, what's your corner of this camp like? <laughs> She's gonna wait. Which way does the sun rise? Uh, in here. Same as in real yeah. life. It's, it's okay. kind of designed to, so, to mim imitate. She would be on the um, eastern side, I think, of the okay. camp. Uh, for sure. If we, the two ba the, it says for basic facilities, one is cramped and one is roomy. Oh, does it? Is that what you start with? Sorry, yeah. did I get it wrong? Okay. So absolutely, she's taking advantage of the fact that shit's roomy because sleeping on the road the sucks. So yeah, kind of for sure. Okay. So she's going to do like a washroom that's cramped and a bedroom that is roomy. And they're set up on the east side because uh, even though she doesn't like mornings, it's mostly because she doesn't like people and she doesn't like to have to talk to people in the morning. But she's an early riser because she doesn't really need to sleep. Okay. Um, so she always gets up well before dawn and studies and stuff. How do you imagine um, a washroom? Is it like a another tent like attached to it is it yeah it would be like attached to it for sure okay. and she's got like you know three or four mirrors in there and shit just you know all okay. decked out like hanging down from one of the... yeah, okay yeah. cool absolutely um, all right all right okay uh and so next to this this tent of yours what two facilities do you have uh arcane study and a library Library. That was more difficult to say than I thought it would be. Okay. Uh, the Arcane Sudden Library. And how do you imagine they look? Because bear in mind, you are in a uh, a campsite at this point. The, 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 it's, yeah. The initial intention, I imagine, of the Bastion system was to have like a, a room, a natural room. But you're going to have your library as designed as in like a tent or, or however you imagine it. So uh, how do you picture the Arcane Study and the uh, library? They would be right next to each other and... Probably like they're not gonna share a like tent wall with her like private facilities. But they're gonna be real fucking close, so that if she thinks of something in the middle of the night or whenever, she can just like jet over and write it down or or whatever. Um, and she can spend a lot of time in both of them. Um, so library, I think as as we travel and we start to get things, she's going to try to mimic kind of the library that she has in Steel Mane. Mm. Um, so a comfy little desk and some extra kind of chairs in case she's tired of sitting at the desk and she wants to like sit in a comfy chair and write stuff down, but very much focused on like the fact that no one else would ever come in there. Okay. Because she doesn't really friends so it would be just like a series of like and it's one chair here and it's one chair there okay. um and stuff like that and so you know if if gast or holtz or someone else is going to be stationed in there they'd have to remind her like i would like a desk as well um and then she'd be like oh yeah sorry um, um and probably something similar for the arcane study okay so they're kind of adjacent tents that have Kind of these yeah. stands of all the books and stuff. In. Like I think they would um, be like kind of connected almost, right? Like you could raise, like you'd raise okay. the flap in between them, right? And just okay. kind of like walk between. Um, I imagine upon your first destination, you'd be able to fill in some of the stuff there, like send someone into the city to go and buy books, etc. Um, now, because you've got technically no competing uh, NPCs to station, I'm going to assume you're stationing Salandra in the Arcane Study and. Uh, who of Gars and Holtz would you ask to be stationed in here? I think it depends on whether someone else would like either one of them, right? And then we can mm. just uh, choose. I don't really mind. So if someone else has a 
If anyone like, else oh, is anyone else making a library or a uh, mercenary camp? No. No. Okay, then uh, you can choose either or of them. Um, let's do. Wait, Holtz is the crabby goblin. Gast mm -hmm. is the. Let's do the crabby goblin. Okay. Yep. Um, Holtz is stationed inside of your uh, library then. Um, to help with information there, Slanderous inside your heart gain study. Okay. Um, who would like to go next? I think I have an idea of what I want. Did any has anybody made a garden yet? Yes, uh, Carla. You can have more than one garden. I mean, yeah, yeah he, you can do more than one garden. You can I know. I'm just asking. I'm wondering what type of garden he oh. made. <laughs> oh, that was do, right when you walked away. Herb, uh, like rare herb or the mm -hmm. antitoxin one. Like probably switching okay. between those okay. two. Cool. Um, I think uh, Tack would be drawn toward making a workshop. Um, okay. Would probably ask Shubal if she would sort of like watch over it and work out of it and stuff. Yep. Um, I think especially early days, it wouldn't, it, it would be kind of like, um, you know, when you imagine those really eccentric old people that just have like 8,000 hobbies. So mm -hmm. there's just like supplies for just about anything that you might yeah. want to do, you know? Um, is it all located inside a tent or how do you manifest it? Uh, it's, we're going more nomadic with this, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, I, yeah, I think, um, you know, eventually, I imagine most of these things will be in sort of like case, covered yeah. carts or caravans, right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, at first, probably in a tent. Okay. Yeah, a little workshop tent. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. And then what did you want to do for your second one? And what do you want to do for your basic facility as well, like where you live? Um, the the other special that I would want to do is the is a garden, but um. The, the just like beauty garden. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't imagine it taking like a specific area. It would be like specific plants and flowers that have been, that are growing, but like they would be like grafted onto the side of other things, oh, you that's know, nice. like yeah. the, sort of like spread around, but mm -hmm. everything that's growing is like useful in some way. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you can decorate onto them. I don't, I don't know that Tack would. Uh, like I, I think Tack would want, uh, you know, like a nice cozy space to sleep. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I don't know beyond that, really. <laughs> yeah, you could. You could just have your tent where oh. you sleep as your general means for sure. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, so you've got your kind of garden hanging up on other things, and uh, and your little workshop, um, mm. which Shibbles is kind of working out. Um, okay. Uh, who would like to go next? There's also, but there's an assumption of um, uh, all of you that are working these stations have their own tents as well set up, along with like Van mm -hmm. is going to have his shop up as well. So you have, it's quite a large encampment. You're gonna, it's it's a it's a place where you can kind of walk around and go to each other and have your own privacy and whatnot as well. Um, mm -hmm. Wherever you station up, depending on like the background, you know, you could be up in the hills and the mountains, you could be in the woods, etc. But uh, the idea is that you do have a lot of space and you can probably fulfill quite a lot of people in this place um okay so we've got three more to go morgan v desmond i can go sure um i was thinking of making the smithy okay first uh with my room actually being in like the back section of the smithy since i don't need a bed this will be like my little workstation where i work on things mm -hmm. while everybody else is resting uh and right outside of it i wanted to post up a bounty board okay Nice. Okay. Um, so how do you, uh, do you imagine the smithy to be inside a tent? Do you imagine it to be just kind of on its own outside and you've kind of got like a cover over it or how do you imagine it to be? Uh, yeah, it would definitely be covered. Uh, like the forge sort of in the middle where everything mm -hmm. is made uh, is posting everything up and then going out. Uh, right outside would be the bounty board next to maybe the knives that have been made. So people could grab a knife, stab up a bounty on the board. It's okay, yeah, to. good idea. <laughs> Good idea. Um, That's cute. <laughs> uh, and I'll say, by the way, for each of these, um, I'll let you guys come up with... I mean, you could decide if you want me to come up with it, but if you would like to come up with um, 
each one of them has a hireling representation. Uh, this can be additional to to who you've stationed in there, or it could be the person you stationed in there. Um, both fine. Uh, uh, <coughs> but like for you, for example, your bounty board will be stationed by someone whilst you're not there, so you can have the person mm -hmm. that's like sits by it and like you know organize it, etc. You guys can come up with all of those hirelings if you like. Um, if you don't want to do it, you can always just pine off to me, and I don't mind um, at all. Okay, uh, and then what about for your room? What about for, where, where does Desmond have a facility? My room will just be, like, attached to the back of the smithy. Okay. But yeah, I don't yeah. need a bed or anything, so that, that yeah, that's my little workstation where all of my tools are, my just little gadgets I'm working on. Okay. Yeah. Um, sounds good. Uh, all right. V or Morgan? Hmm. I'll try. This is hard because V has never had like something like this before. Yeah. Um, well, here's what I'd say. You can manifest it however you like. Like doesn't necessarily, yeah. even though the word armory might look like an armory, doesn't have to necessarily be exactly like one. It could be someone's just running it for you. Kind of thing. Hmm. You want me to go? Oh, oh no. Broken. Microphone broken. Oh, no. It's okay. Oh, we'll okay. just read yeah. your lips. We'll, it's fine. We'll do. We'll do more games once if we can get a sharpie. <laughs> we can find her voice. I, I can't believe really unplugged her microphone, so she didn't have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready, you guys. I promise. <laughs> Sarah Roller, right? <laughs> can't even defend herself. <laughs> <laughs> um, my game would have like a very like small, simplistic tent. Okay. Um, kind of off to the side, and I'll put the sanctuary inside the tent. Okay. Um, it'll just be more of like an armor stand that she'll like hang the holy symbol of justice on. Um, just to replicate like the motions she would go through when she was at the dread vault mm -hmm. that they would all go through. Um, and then I'll go with the stockade as well. Nice. Okay. Yes, you have your own little prison. Um, all right. Creepy as well. Uh, and how do you imagine the stockade? Is my mic working? Okay. It is, yeah. Hey. Yeah, you're good. Um, probably quite barren, no, like, roof. Just like a stockade and some manacles. Maybe okay. some straw. Okay. Yeah, got it. So it's, well, it's uh, not a great interior decorator. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so it's it's basically just a kind of a place where you can kind of throw them into manacles. Okay, got it. Yeah. Um. All right. Good. So a uh, stockade and a sanctum. Okay. Uh. And then finally, V. V would just fill in what is left. I feel like because she wouldn't know what to have for herself at all. Like she has no concept of that at all. Um. So. Is it? I believe the workshop and the storehouse are the two that haven't been chosen, correct? We've got a workshop. Uh, I did a workshop. Camp. Oh, we have a workshop. Oh, wait, no, no, no. You, got, do... you, do have, you do have a workshop, right? Yeah. Pat got a workshop. Yeah, we do have a workshop. We don't we have a mercenary do... camp right now. A storehouse and mercenary camp? Is that right? Yeah. Those are okay. good. Yeah. Is um, um, sorry, my cat is driving house. me crazy right now. No, it's okay. <laughs> She's not letting me do anything. Stop. She keeps unplugging my microphone. <laughs> God. Um, yeah, she would never have pets. Oh shit! Sherlock used to step on the okay. power button of my PC. If that makes awesome. you feel better, oh, my, my cats used to do that too. It's insane. <clears throat> Pips it's just um, pooped off camera. So nice. good job, <laughs> good job, pooper. Um, okay, so storehouse and mercenary camp. I feel like for the storehouse, she would like make it similar maybe to um, Vanderval's just because she, that's like her main mm. experience with like a store. So she just thinks like, <laughs> cute, yeah, um, with like I her own. She thinks her storehouse is a store and her house. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, yeah. Vanderbilt so always goes Wait, into the back room of his shop. Like funny. It would Wait. track. Oh my god, that's kind of perfect. <laughs> They thought she'd like um, set up a tent, but then they realized she's sleeping in the storehouse. I yeah. love that. Yeah. Like, it, yeah, she has like a little area in the back <laughs> with like her, her little like silk string cocoon that she makes That's for herself. So cute. Um, 
And in the Merc camp, I feel like, again, like, she would probably base it off of the Sigenbrot, like, a uh, mercenary for higher place as well. Mm. Um, except Cute. more, like, I guess, like, outdoorsy kind of feel with, yeah. like, maybe some training dummies and stuff. Okay, yeah, um, yeah. Like little wicker wood guys that you could like train with and stuff. So you got almost like a um, like in a like an ARPG like Diablo where you have like the campfire and the tents around and you can pick your mercenaries from a bunch of tents. Yes. And kind of some training dummies there. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Uh, yeah. So you, so you get the mercenary camp, and that one. Um, yes. Okay. So uh, to go through everyone's ones, just to reiterate. We have, uh, I'll go from right round. Uh, Andrasa has got the arcane studying the library. Desmond has got the smithy and the bounty board. V has got the mercenary camp and the storehouse. Uh, Carlisle's going to have the medical station and a garden growing uh, potions or poisons. We can get to that once you issue first orders. Um, Morgane has got uh, the sanctum and a stockade. And then Tack has got a workshop and a garden growing decorative flowers. Uh, if you guys do come under attack and you're there, you can fight off the creatures. If you're not there, it will shut down your stations for a little while, um, depending who gets attacked. Uh, but you know, it, it, it mostly really only happens mm. on it's a it's a five percent chance. Um, Did we do a barracks? No. <laughs> can I always oh, stop stockades for it? Yeah, you can I definitely stop stockades for it. Something you, too. If you, okay, I'll do that instead. Okay, you can do that instead. Uh, uh, how do you manifest the, the the barracks then? What do you what do you picture as? Is it a series of tents that like the people can live in? Is it kind of a, a station of like if you put out some wood and kind of like building like a, a kind of a, a makeshift scouting point? It'd be like um, probably a series of tents with like an awning over it that they would mm. use to scout from. Okay, and then maybe like some um, some kind of like wooden uh, dummies to train on. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So on like one side of the camp, you've got your mercenaries training and then you've got the guards who actually can uh, yeah. focus in it. Okay. Um, and they'd be close enough to Morgane that she could advise them. Mm, mm, yeah, you can like Teach work them. almost like a little bit of a drill instruction towards them. Uh, okay. Uh, well then, uh, that is something that will be built up when you kind of mostly go into your next encampment and people can go out and get, gather supplies and it kind of lures people to this, this new moving uh, uh, series of tents and this camp. Um, but to bring us back into things then, uh, as that kind of comes on, we'll do our first Bastion turn out. I'm going to say for your first orders, we're not going to do an, an event to kick off the beginning. Um, it's going to be what you do for a week. And then from that week onward, uh, you would have a, uh, an event kicking off. Um, so to bring us back into where we were prior to all of that, you are now... Deciding where to kind of move on next. Uh, you have seen the town disappear. You've, you've kind of calmed all the people into having this sense of um, companionship with one another. What would you like to do? Encourage everybody to get some rest and then head out to Marigold. How, um, how many days travel is it to Marigold? To Marigold? Uh, you're probably talking from where you are in the Glam Glades. Um, I'll ask you this as a question. Do you travel with the encampment or do you travel solo? I mean, we already pitched to them. Yeah, we were like, we'll yeah. go everybody together. can go we'll to Marigold. We start stuff. running while they walk. Yeah. <laughs> you all are taking entirely too long. We'll see you there. <laughs> So um, I will say it takes double the time if you're moving with them because it's a lot of packing up and putting down. Um, so probably about six days, seven days. Oh, okay. That's fine. Um, uh, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go eight because it is, you have to go through past mountains and stuff as well. About eight days travel um, to get from, from the kind of edge of the Glam Glades. Well, the middle of the Glam Glades where you are to, to there. Um, so yeah, eight days. All right. Okay. Yeah. I think we 
spend a night, let everybody mm -hmm. give their brain a little break, and then head out first thing in the morning. Okay. Um, you hit the road, and you start to kind of move on through the glam glades, following the river path ahead of you um, that would carry on leading uh, uh, northward through the woods and, and past the, the, the mountains. Um, with eight days travel in your way uh, and Marigold being the destination, um, it's slow moving at first and people are getting comfortable. The, the discussion of uh, everything we've just discussed with the Bastion system, this encampment, it's, it's starting to come up into into fruition. It's, it's uh, People are kind of discussing the idea of, okay, what are we going to do whilst Marigold's got on? We should, we should defend our camp. What, what kind of supplies do we need? What do we need to bring in here? Um, and people are kind of gathering things, uh, local merchants they might pass, they might buy some basics off of, uh, such as tents and whatnot, so that they have somewhere to sleep. Um, but the first probably day of travel uh, is, is a kind of a slow one, um, but peaceful through the Glam Glades. Uh, by the time the next night comes, uh, there's a design of a plan around building this encampment. Uh, wood, wood is kind of gathered. People are buying, uh, so gathering food together and uh, finding their spots of where they would like to set up um, comfortably. Uh, Vandervold popping up his house every night and then pulling it back down again. Um, but you find yourselves kind of creating this quite comfortable environment around you. You would see on the second... Uh, at one point during the second night, an elf would enter into your town. Uh, she wanders over to your group, or wanders through the town, kind of asking people. And you've got some stragglers which have kind of come along into this encampment. It's a general means of uh, some people hit the road and then they follow and, and join camps just so they have a place of protection. Um, so you're getting a few more stragglers. So it's not unusual even one night in to have a couple extra people who are camping alongside or kind of meeting you on the road. And, and uh, kind of sharing a path for safety. But this one wanders in, and you can see she's got long golden hair that reaches down to her waist. Um, through it, it, is, it almost looks like it's uh, uh, glowing ever so softly, um, but more of a kind of a sun glow to it. It's almost got this kind of slight kind of... It looks almost like it's heated, her hair, as it kind of pulls down her back. Um, fair kind of almost orangey like skin uh and uh and wears kind of a lot of, of of yellow flowers and some like bright green flowers all across her robes um but more of ranger garb she's got a, a bow on her back that kind of straps around her front and uh she she wanders through the camp and in her hand she's holding a, a small almost like a, a jewelry box um chest and she's kind of kind of got under underneath her arm and she's looking around for uh your group and at this point your bounty board wouldn't necessarily be set up but she could come over towards your area desmond and say are you are you the ones from sigenblad the stragglers we saw it disappear uh, one of them you want to speak to everyone and anyone who I was looking for help from the town, and then it all went. I could go, I could go gather everyone if you need to talk about something, I guess. I don't need the entire town. In fact, it's rather embarrassing. I just need someone I can... Is there any mercenaries or anyone I could hire around here? Someone to take care of something I've messed up with. Well, then I'm the right person. Go on. <laughs> Good. Stops that. Uh, she places her chest on the ground, kind of leans down, sits down on a fallen log, um, rests her chin on her hands, and just kind of like contemplates how she says it. Do you happen to know what a troll pat is? First of all, would I? Well, uh... <laughs> Roll Either way, me. I'm saying yes. Roll me <clears throat> a... I'm going to say it's a it's going to be a charisma-based check. 
uh, give me a, like a charisma history check. Um, okay. Because this is kind of like you can do nature if you like if it's higher, um, but for different reasons. I have proficiency in history, which will be see, right? Let's go, baby. Yeah, you get to apply the um, that and with your charisma modifier. Uh, it, it'll be the same as a regular one, so I could just roll this it. flat then. Uh, 22. Nice. Mm -hmm. Uh, 22 will tell you the, uh, in fact, I'll, I'll, I'll link you the whole poem. Um, there is a short story or a poem, um, that is a child's poem about, called The Dragon and the Troll Pack. Um, if you want to read it out, I can link it to you. Here you go. And let me just send it. I can format it better for Discord. Um, but this 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 poem would come to your mind as something that you've 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 heard before, especially considering you like uh, you like your stories. Um, I love stories. You love a story. Uh, that does mean he loves his story. I will say with this <laughs> with this said, and you can read this one out loud. Uh, a troll pack is, even in a world oh. of fantasy, is considered almost like a fictional creature um, uh, and a little silly. Uh, but uh, this is the this is the little short story that Whoa. comes with. Or the, the poem. Oh, this is cute. The hungry, hungry troll was holding its belly full. Another troll did it eat when it didn't pay its toll. It hurt so much, but a stool it had to pass. Okay. No. When troll eats troll, the result is rather crass. A troll pack grows from within that messy stool. Okay. <laughs> a troll okay, unlike troll others pet. that seeks to devour all. Troll pets eat anything and everything that comes their way, from rocks, wood, or magical items they eat throughout the day. The troll pet ate up all the trees and cattle in the field. Upon meeting a deer farmer, its belly forgot to yield. It ate the houses and ate the barns, never did it stop. It grew and grew as it ate each and every crop. But this town was ruled by a dragon that laid shadow over wake. It found the troll pat had eaten its servants. They were not his to take. It grabbed the troll pat and brought it home. It would eat it for its dinner. Inside the horde of the dragon large, the troll pat dare not grow thinner. The troll pat ate all of the gold, the jewels, and magical galore. It ate and ate, and grew and grew, and for once, could eat no more. When the dragon returned, its anger boiled at the sight. It attacked the bursting troll pat, and the troll took one last bite. Trapped in the mountain now, you might wonder what this story's about. Well, if you hear the crunching of stone, know that the troll pat is eating its way out. <laughs> That's disgusting. It's real gross, man. <laughs> it re Good job, it reminds me of Hungry Mungry. Did you guys ever read the poem Hungry Mungry? No. <laughs> no. Yeah. That's cute, though. He eats the entire like universe. Cute. Yeah. Goals. Horrifying. <laughs> Goals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so it's a fairy tale, say. and she's staring at you seriously, serious face, kind of concerned. I, I, I am aware. I wish I wasn't. <laughs> Well, I have a rather unfortunate issue, and I'm willing to pay a, a decent sum of gold for this. Or about the troll pat? Yes, or pats. Multiple. Oh, oh. <laughs> Do you know how one is initially formed? Uh, well, yeah, yeah. Uh. Rather not go into it in front of everyone. It's rather yeah. crass, you think? Um, well, if you're going to be doing this, you probably would... Have you got a team or anything or anyone you could hire? <laughs> Can I try to... <laughs> I'm not good at this. <laughs> I'm going to try an insight check. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I believe in you. I'm hey, god off of this, by the way. No, you got this. You Fuck got it. Get him. Just eight. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what are you trying to insight? <laughs> Is, is, is this girl for real? 
Uh, hard, hard to say with an eight. Uh, she looks awkward about it. Are you serious, ma'am? She could be winding you up. She could be serious. It's hard to say. Is this a prank show? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, let me let me go gather everyone. I would definitely go to Carlisle first and be like, yeah, I'll hit bro. The hey, Carlisle, go, bro, please. This. Yeah. Uh, you know what a troll pad is? First, I'm gonna. Preface with do this. I know what a troll pad is? Do I have to roll a charisma? <laughs> do you want to do a nature check? Because uh, I imagine you probably would hear less of the story and more of a. No, enlighten me. On that. Okay, no. Uh, say a troll eats another troll and it passes through it. It makes something that's really all consuming uh, uh -huh. a creature. Okay. Uh, I thought it was just a story, but I have someone here says she's seen multiple and. I think she's lying. I don't know. I've I've never seen one. I've never even heard of anyone who's seen one. So uh, this person you're talking about has seen multiple troll pads. Supposedly. You could get a good read on people, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I can ask them about it and take a look. Okay, I'll go get everyone else. You head over to her. I would corral the group. Hey, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to explain this to everyone. A <laughs> <laughs> troll pet, you said. <laughs> It'll be easier to describe if we see it. Excellent. <laughs> Heads over. Okay, yeah, well, I'll gather then, I guess. Hey there. I don't. Oh. You're the. The fighting six? The, the six? <laughs> yeah, we all the fight. The six. <laughs> <laughs> we do more than just fight, though, so, you know, just the six, I think, is... I didn't get to see you fight before, but I'd heard. It's quite entertaining. Okay. Well, then we have a chance. What's this about these trolls eating other trolls and then creating a <laughs> yet more trolls situation? Your companion... Inform me they know what a troll pat is, yes? Yeah, I assume he's filled you from in. From what I've heard from stories, yeah. It, I've told them. They're real? And you've seen multiple of these uh, <laughs> troll pat. Yes. And now I'm in it. <laughs> <laughs> 21. Uh, she seems truthful, but embarrassed. Mm. Okay. So, uh, why? Maybe I'm not as informed on uh, all this as perhaps I should be. You seem yes. embarrassed by the uh, fact that you've seen a troll pet. Is that uh, is that because it is a tall tale <laughs> situation? <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Uh, I have a stronger stomach than to be put off by a little fecal creation such as a troll pet, but <laughs> I was duty to deal with it prior to it growing into a problem. Right. Duty to deal with it. <laughs> duty. I get Carlisle it. That's good. <laughs> That's funny. I get yes. it. Mm. Right. That's when I get. <laughs> duty. So, uh, who, who dutied you to do this? Uh... My, my fellow Aladrin. We were, I'm part of the Summer Guard. Uh, the rest of them are resting. They go into a hibernation during autumn. The week when winter comes. And I should have been in my one a week ago. Unfortunately, I have to worry about dealing with this. We had a... <clears throat> Multiple? Yes. Yes. In, in, in total, I believe there to be five... Though they're not Five. incredibly fully grown yet. Um, I was, we, we'd, we'd learned about one of the, a troll with a terrible stomachache in the area. Um, to be monitored, to be monitored. And it was awfully boring following a troll around. Besides. Wait, to monitor it? You wouldn't just kill it and then be done? 
Well, it's a little difficult to kill a troll, especially if, if they're digesting a, a troll pack, they can be very vicious. And hmm. it is far easier to... You see, when a troll pad is created, or, or prior to it, if a, if a troll eats another troll, trolls regenerate. Their bodies can grow out of basically anything. But unfortunately, if you swallow something that is regenerating inside of you, it it's very hard to digest. Most trolls, if they're digesting another troll, their stomach acid will slowly break it down, but the pain is so excruciating that the vast majority of themselves find a local fire to throw themselves onto. It is how most get around it. It was safe to assume that this troll, like any other troll that is about to form a troll pad, uh, because they are so rare, would have just died soon after, found a fire, threw itself on, and been done with it. So I was following it around for four days of its digestion, I can't see it making it past a fifth one. It looked terrible. So I decided to light a little campfire and went on my way away. <laughs> I was missing the entirety of the festival, you see. And I knew I was about to go into hibernation, so I thought, well, I've given it its, its out. It'll find that within the hour, and then I can get going. And so I head back. And we enjoyed our festivities. And I returned to the fire to find nothing. And I lost the trace of the troll. <laughs> because I waited a few days. And now, I've gone to find where it might have passed its droppings because... Copods are very small at first. I mean, they can consume anything. And they grow rather quickly, but they're, they're very small at first. Quite easy to do with, you know. Uh, wear the right boot and no more troll pads. Unfortunately, I was a you little waited later. a few days. Mm. These ones are... They are probably the size of you and I by the time I saw them. And when was that? About three days ago. Okay. It's safe to say they've grown a little bit more from then, but they <clears throat> they are terrible in their wake. They can eat anything. Um, rock. What if a troll pet ate another troll pet? I Will don't that touch know. Him? And I'm also, uh, so that means that this one troll that you were uh, tailing actually ate five other trolls and then proceeded to die there. No. The additional ones you I think maybe they just poop five times. You could keep Seriously. passing the same troll and it would <laughs> generate the part. No, no. Exactly. <laughs> it, troll pets are probably the most stupid of their kind of trolls in general. Um, because. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, any troll pet stories we've mostly heard is only one portion of the creature given through, maybe two or three. Uh, five is rare, but it, it, they are all technically the same troll. They are considered family to each other, very loyal to one another, so I imagine they don't eat oh. one another, but mostly because they are quite literally the same troll. It's only the portions which didn't get digested and came through the, the stools that, um, that can grow. And uh, because they went through such an ordeal, they have a, a, a sort of opposite effect. They don't necessarily regenerate. They cause everything around them to not. Uh, if these troll pets were left on their own for, for, for a single turning of the moon, the entirety northern section of the Glam Glades could d d d decay and die. Every time they pass their own they stools... They stop yes. things from growing. They All right. disrupt the natural order of things because they are themselves unnatural. They... Their stools alone can cause things to stop growing in a wide radius around them. And they pass a lot. So This is just not... a horrible job, but I assume uh, this is an emergency at this point. Um, yes. You said they're separate, but the same troll in yes. essence, right? They can't, like... 
come back together to one giant. No, they are their own separate creature. Pet. Okay, unless you good. were to tear them That's apart something. and place them together, which okay. I'm sure you could probably build your own one out of that. But I no, I wasn't trying it. to make it like golem or something. I just was didn't know if that was like a special move they had. But you should be cautious around them. They are aggressive. They will look at everything you wear and use to eat. And they are capable of eating anything. And I mean anything. Last I saw them, they were close to the mountain off the road. Just biting their way through the trees and the rocks and the road there north of us. I'm desperate enough. I'm willing to give you... And she lifts up this chest, uh, opens it, and it's filled with different uh, various gemstones, necklaces, jewels, all sorts. Um, definitely in the kind of couple thousand region of gold. Um, and she closes and goes, it would be easier to explain to my fellow Aladrin why this went missing than they went on a rampage. Question. Yes. Sorry. You said that um, they're <laughs> the troll pet's pet yes. is toxic to the environment. Um, <laughs> do you clean it up in a special way or something? Or We can handle that portion just... of it. That's the easiest part. Right. Um, disgusting to do so, but uh, uh, I'm not fearful of what they've left behind, more so that they're continuous leaving of them. Uh, they could go on... Five Chobats have... Chobats are usually killed before we ever see where they can grow up to, but arguably they never stop growing. Mm. Their growth does slow down. But they could become the I size of giants. I question as well. Yes. You're saying that these ones, they can't regenerate. Chobats cannot regenerate. They... They do the opposite. Everything around them struggles. If this situation leads us to a troll that can regenerate, what do we have to do to make sure it doesn't come back? The troll? Hmm. Uh, fire, acid. They usually work. Hmm. Can that with fire? the way of things usually but these five that you'll be up against are deathly stupid but they are dangerous they you will struggle to Being around them can cause your own body to not knit wounds or to stop you from... from A wound cut in, in front of them will bleed endlessly if you survive long enough around them to see them. Mm. Uh, and I must warn you, if you have anything extremely valuable on you, they are capable of digesting even items affiliated with magic. So don't drop anything of fast value around them because there's no recreating that from the stools hmm. well what do we think oh uh, well i do think this is one of the most unsanitary jobs we may ever take in our, uh careers but um I also am not very interested in leaving an entire forest uh, to a stinky doom. Um, I think it looks like we'll be paid quite well, so I'm content to exterminate the drill pads. Hmm. Wait, how far away are they, dear? Uh, you stay on the main road that you're traveling upon, you'd get there within an hour or two. Oh gosh, all right. If, if I, what if was your name? I'm, right. I'm Catherine. Closer than I thought. Well, estimated. It might be a little longer away. They were just moving in this direction. 
Well, then it would probably behoove us to just tell everyone to sit tight here. And we'll go take care of this. And when we come back, then everyone can pack up and move. Mm. Agreed. What will become of you when they find out you have taken this? She gestures to the chest. Uh, Hard to say. I'll likely be punished uh, during the next spring or... I have to set out the entirety of the Winter Festival. But ultimately, these, these are all things we have found on our missions outward. And statues like this, they will come and go. Uh, I could perhaps even lie <laughs> and just say a thief took them from us when we rested. Anything to avoid telling them what I spent it on. Hmm. We accept. I'll do the job. You will? Hmm. She sighs with a wraith. Okay, well, I'll wait here. And if... It doesn't go well... I'll tell the camp to move. It will go well. Good. Uh, good luck. I'll, I'll find a means if you lose anything I'll find a means to replace it I promise yes well uh, she sits back and you can see there's like elves don't sleep but she looks tired um, uh, the hibernations kind of want more of meditation for a long period of time um, and she sits back sighs and just sits there with the chest allowing you to go hunt them down if you so wish Actual poop, want to go? Quest. Actual, <laughs> actual poop quest. Actual yeah. poop quest. Yeah. Love Crazy shit, RP. Quest. Yeah. Are we all ready to go now? Do you, does anyone need to, I don't know, freshen up before we go? Does There's anyone no need to do do feces or... before we do our duty? I just, just want to get this done. Honestly, <laughs> I don't want to be waiting around a longer period of time. It's just going to get worse. Or should they grow another one or something, or get bigger? Mm. I wonder if they smell. I hope not. Hmm. Think they don't smell? I mean, I'm sure they do, but I hope it's not, you know, overpowering, I suppose. Maybe just a, a light wafting. Or well, at least I hope the wind is in our favor. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think Tack would uh, go to the workshop tent mm -hmm. and um take off their ring and go to shubal and and say we're gonna be doing a mission for a couple of days get some extra money for the camp okay. could you watch this for me uh yes takes it and we'll hand her a ring thank you kind of puts it just in um, like a front pocket all right i appreciate it i think carlisle's gonna spend some time just making some kind of like like <clears throat> cream or something that you can put underneath your nose to protect from the That's horrible smart. smell that this group <laughs> yeah. is probably very going smart. To be enduring for the next uh, however much <clears throat> time. Okay. Um, yeah, you can you can definitely block out the smell. Um, whether that will block out any of their effects, it's hard to say. But you can at least <laughs> block out the smell. Um, by kind of formulating Make liberal cream, use of. Prestidigitation. I can't even smell. Mm. Okay. Right. You saying out? Uh, I um, guess, right? If it's only an hour ish figure, away. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we can tell him. Um, what's his butt? Mayor Man. Yeah, uh, it's an Andrew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's yeah. his butt? <laughs> Mayor Man, you know. Mayor Man. <laughs> Yeah. Our uh, mayor. mayor. Mm -hmm. He kind of looks at you. Heading out. We'll mm -hmm. uh, we'll keep this place quiet and secure until you return. It should hopefully only be a few hours. We'll be here. This portion of the Glam Glades doesn't seem as dangerous as 
further west, anyway. All right. Cool. Yeah, Let's do, do it. Do you think, um, Master Slandra, sorry, do you think that, um, you know, while they're gone, you could maybe, um, organize some sort of, uh, I don't know, uh, water brigade or something I feel like we may need to wash off when we come back. So, you know, some system of, you know, something. Well, we have the river. You're we smart men, you'll figure it out. Gather some Yes, water. maybe something warmed a little, you know, not All right. freezing cold water. Yes. Okay, the wash of mud. I've got you. Um, well. And, uh, yeah, he, he'll start asking some people to have him go and get buckets of water. Let's go. Do you do anything before setting out, or are you setting out on the path of the troll path? Head out. Mm. Go to poopy town. <laughs> Got a I like the way said path of the cow. troll pets as if it's like Let's a subclass. Get it. <laughs> Everyone, get uh, your toilet paper. We're going. Uh, yeah, you can you can head out into the into the woods. Um, Who's got a plunger? <laughs> Not yeah. one campaign of D and D can I get through without no. this or shit. No. <laughs> no. Um, you would be able to head out into the uh, into the wilderness. Um, and uh, take the pathway northward. Um, travel for for about an hour and a bit. Um, how do you travel? Are you traveling secretive? Are you traveling with the intention to like jump out on them? Are you going to just try and get them to jump out on you? Like a counter ambush? Are you uh, traveling like this? I, think, I mean, trying to sniff. Carlisle would want us to go kind of quiet because last thing we want to have is get jumped by creatures that actively want to eat us as fast as possible as mm. it is their nature yeah uh, i'd be trying to be a little stealthy quiet ish mm. all right mm. um if you go at a slower pace as well uh i will give you advantage to your stealth rolls but you can all roll stealth now oh, i will boy. cast pass without trace okay Ooh. So that's plus plus ten. ten to all of ours, yeah. Ooh. Okay, I roll at advantage for stealth. So that's a thirty. Girl. Okay, thirty. Uh, your advantage, by the way, um, unless you have disadvantage, in which case you're all normal, because you're taking a slow path forward. If you're in a dungeon, you might not, because uh, uh, times of the essence that was as well. Let's toggle Um mm. But. Uh, Okay, so yeah, 22. 22, I do not see that. 22. Uh, oh, don't twins. watch this. Okay. Holy shit. 27 for Desmond. So just more gain attack. Here comes the more gain two. Here it comes. Six. I believe. Did you, you have advantage. 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 I'm a disadvantage, right? Or does it? Am you I, would like, have like, disadvantage. Yours would be normal. So you 11. No, then so you have 21. 21. 21. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so just your Sam. I believe in you, Sam. You can do Thanks. this. Ten. Oh, there you go. So 20. So the lowest stealth check is a 20. Uh, Yay. So uh, hey. I can tell you. GG, Desmond. That is successful. <laughs> um, you would go on to... Let's see if I can find a little theme here. Uh... Let's not put this one yet. Let's go for. Uh, Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> They're uh, here. That was coming out. <laughs> they found us. <laughs> uh, plus forty to perception. Let me see it's if just like fart noises one. when they're walking. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, see if I got a fun one. I'll, I'll put like one of these on for now. Um, actually, no, that one's too calm. Uh, Music to poop to. <laughs> You're telling me you didn't have a track ready for that? I didn't have a track for ready for that. Come on, man. You didn't have anything ready for He made a poem. He wrote a whole poem for poop trolls. He didn't find My a DM song. I, I'm going to ask Reddit anonymously. My DM is injecting his fetish <laughs> talk into my D&D campaign. RPG horror stories. I need advice. Uh, 
It's we'll okay because all Reddit's advice is you should just talk to them. Yeah, of course. Did so, you try talking to them though? <laughs> I'm going to put you guys onto the battle map. You're going to be on the left side of it, okay? Okay. okay. Um, Very disappointing you didn't call it the poopy map, but okay. Uh, <laughs> you know, time and a place. It's not disappointing. Weird, I don't it's even see any. Uh, this is the one time though, <laughs> Sam. I'm okay, You're going to be on the left side yeah, of the map. I'm disappointed. Thank you times. very much. There better not be many more times. Wait. <laughs> you are stepping into this, this area uh, together, and uh, you can stealth up to a point where it's a bit too close to them would be within 30 feet. Um, so as long as you remain 30 feet away from them, you're going to be stealthy from them entirely. But as you're going to come into the area, uh, these five troll pads are all kind of over in the, in, in the trees, and you'd hear this... You'd hear one of them. It's kind of just whacking a piece of like uh like this the logs that are going across the river here is like smacking them with his own club breaking off pieces and then chewing on the pieces and goes i saw a frog do you want me to grab it uh the one up here is kind of just <laughs> straight up munching on the side of a tree and goes well i'll finish up here and then i'll come grab it the one in the river is like literally just gulping down just volumes of the river and then just occasionally just going swallowing back a fish and just going, Ugh. Oh, I want to eat it next. Uh, this one up here is just picking up rocks and just biting into each of them. Uh, like, <laughs> deciding which one he wants to bite next and just bites both of them at the same time. Just crunches down, swallows it back. Um, and the one up here, you would see, just leans over into, like, the tree yard. And he's kind of like, he goes, ah, ah, and you just hear this, like, loud, no, horrible sound. No. On there. Oh, and my then, God. What is and this, 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 this loud, RP. just, <laughs> boom, where it's, like, almost this extremely funny. heavy. And he goes, oh, I'll come find it. And starts like climbing down the side of this hill here. But they're all kind oh of God. arguing over what to eat next. And you can just see bites and uh, just everything taken out of, of this area. As these troll pats are basically just cleaving their way through the countryside. Just off That's the map as well, gross. you can just see trees completely bitten down to like their bare bones. Um, rocks missing. It looks almost like, like almost just like toiled soul from where they've just torn up the ground in every bit of grass they can. Uh, they do move slow, but they are, they're constantly taking bites. Like it's like, um, swallow, um, swallow. So it's, they are eating everything they can. Um, and I'll um, place down on the map as well where this one went. A troll pet dropping. Gross. Oh. So uh, choice if that's going to be like I a mechanical am. thing. <laughs> If we need to, um, mm -hmm. I could just uh, shoot them with fire right now. If that is something that uh, we feel is a good idea before we close in on the fecal trolls. We're in the middle of a forest. I feel like then we'll also be fighting the fire. I don't know. They've kind of bitten around it in this sort of a... A f natural fire break where that one's eaten at least. There's a what if there. they would eat it, the fire? Would it, no, you kill them with fire, dear. That's what you do to trolls. Do we know for sure? Fire. Fair to do like a survival check to like gauge how much a fire would spread if it were to like mm. detonate in a yeah. specific area. Yeah. Um, okay, go ahead and do a nature check. Nature check. Okay. Uh, I'll help someone else out. I mean, there's a river here, too. That's why I suggested it. I have plus two in nature. That's it. Yeah, plus one. Uh, I, I have... Nature. Yeah, I have... What a 15. Uh, is that the one you're helping? Because you've yeah, rolled, rolled advantage, you're like... Sure. 15's enough to give you the general information. But... I'm sorry, I got a 24. Uh, this will 100% start, start a fight, uh, despite the river, because uh, the Glam Glades is in the height of autumn. There's a lot of mm. dry leaves and fallen branches kindling. and kindling around. Um, Nothing like this place will definitely start a fight. Smoke and shit. Which you can obviously one of do. the worst encounters I've ever experienced. Good. We should invite them to Sig and Brot to just eat <laughs> Sig and Brot. <laughs> If only we had met them like a week sooner. I mean, you could, you can always try. Oh no, you don't have the stockades. I was gonna say you could try and capture one, and put it in the stockades, but Gross. Um, this is what Basil well, would have done would if yeah. Basil was here. 
Well, um, I'm fine with whatever plan mm -hmm. uh, we decide to go with, but I'm going to start moving a little bit closer. Hmm. I mean, I am as well. It's just that they were sort of clustered quite nicely, and if I was going to do it, it'd be mm. nice to hit them all. But if you are afraid that we will start a fire, um, that is generally what fires do, but it also might get, you know, rid of them. I'm good either way, though. So it's 30 feet from these guys when we would have to, like, roll... Yeah, like you'd have to roll another stealth check. Uh... Yeah. Okay. And the DC would be higher. Because you're within their I'm kind of very right close here. range, um, but you can see right now that all of them are kind of arguing. One of them goes like, reaches down, pulls out a whole like trout, throws it back into his mouth, and just starts pouring like pebbles off the ground of the the river into his mouth, crunching it back. Um, all of them just kind of shout and talking to each other. In the meanwhile, this one's going to climb down and starts biting on some of the rocks here. Mm. Hello. We don't have a kind of plan of initiating this. I could just shoot at one of them. Frankly, I don't want to go over there. I'd rather they come to us. Because mm. there are mounds of, uh, you know, over there that I can already see. <laughs> oh, and Carlisle Thanks. will hand out the, uh, the like, ointment he made. No. Nice. <laughs> Oh, thanks. Yeah, put some of this on just... all your noses. I mean, if you I guess tell us which one you're going to be attacking, maybe we can all try any of us who are ranged. Well, probably that one that's uh, closest to know. What if I water? just contained the fire right over the river? I just mapped out how big it was, if you guys could see it. Yeah, I could see. That would definitely, uh, yeah, that would be... I'd probably Forward make you roll a d20 um, to see if it catches fire. And uh, in that position, I would say the grass and whatnot, I would say only on a on a three or under where there'd be a fire start and it'd be a small fire. Because it was vast. It's okay, guys. We saved the forest. It's fucking burned to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to make, they're gonna make it toxic anyway, man. I'm just saying. Their little poops are going to make it toxic. Little poops. Little poops. The poop did it, guys. Yeah. yeah. It was... It, it, it was so toxic that it <laughs> so caught fire. <laughs> uh, if we are worried about a fire, I will not shoot fire. I have to ask what you are planning on doing, though, because you are sneaking up right now. Yeah, so. Carlisle's ready to shoot at the closest one. Okay. Right now, you guys are 45 feet away. And if we're all going to coordinate and, and uh, a joint attack, I'm fine with that otherwise. Where, whoever says their action goes off first, that's when the surprise round would begin. Mm -hmm. If we're going to do if we're going to do fire, I think that should be first, right? Mm -hmm. What are the well, odds we burn the forest? The three or it, lower, it's grass. Or, yeah. yeah. It would be a case of... One, two, or three on a d20. If you go for um, uh, a surprise action, it basically starts a round where we skip their turns. They're considered surprise for it. Um, mm -hmm. If you're like, we want to wait for the fire, you would all roll initiative anyway. You'd be basically holding your, your uh, action to use as a reaction after that said trigger. Um, so you would still move around on your turn prior if you rolled high initiative than, say, Indrasa, she was casting Fireball. So you'd still get your full turn. You don't have to come up with a thing right now, but if someone starts, then we're going to roll initiative, and then when your turn comes up, say, Tack, if you're over there and you wanted to be closer, you'd have to move on your turn. You know what I mean? So if you want to get into any positions now, now is the time. Okay. You said with if we're outside of 30 feet, we don't have to roll stealth again? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I want to make sure and if I really you do go that. close uh, and you roll stealth and you're seeing it, we'll start the combat encounter for everyone. Basically, just yeah. don't cross the I just want to confirm right yeah, one I'm thing. Say closer, Indrasa shoots yes, a fireball. But... I'm still technically hiding when my turn comes around, right? For the sake of pulling advantage on a sneak attack. Uh, Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah there would be considered a surprise for that. It's just more that we'd start a roll initiative and then your turn would begin. So say where Indrasa is right now, <clears> she was like, oh, I wish I was 10 feet closer. 
it'd be on her turn, she's got to move that 10 feet. Um, it would take up movement speed. Right now, you just got free movement okay. and stuff. Um, I think Carlisle would rotate a little bit more behind V. Stay put here. Until, uh, ready to go. Okay. I mean, I guess... Wait, sorry. I'll move here so I can... I have clear. I assume I have clear line of sight. From yeah, there. They're, they're a little bit raised. And up. if I was standing back a little bit, I wasn't. So. Um. All right. Yeah. Yeah. These ones. <laughs> this is not that big of a waterfall. It just goes down a little bit. Um. Not far at all. Uh. Like literally, like five feet. Uh. So you can see him kind of standing over it. Uh. Okay. Uh. So what is your? What are you? Who? Who? Who's the triggering option? Uh. I mean. I'll I guess be blasting so. some kind of fireball into that flammable clearing. Yes, absolutely. I think it will be fine. <laughs> the water will stop both. <laughs> do you know, I learned this from someone who's very good with fire. Um, so it should do the trick, I think, perfectly. <laughs> she says. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I I'm going to Right, I'm gonna cast fireball where I shot the circle like 80 times to double check. Okay. Uh, and it's a 20 foot radius. She, yeah. Yeah. So okay. it was those three. So when she casts fireball, um, if you know the spell, her movements and her her casting are slightly different. Um, and as she shoots it and it goes off, it is the most contained, perfect sphere of fire. Like, not a lick of flame is outside of this 20-foot radius sphere. And it looks intensely hot, like the fires of the hells. Just very, very hot, but perfectly spherical. Okay. Um, so she shoots it. Let's see what happens. Bible goes straight towards... Hits the center, <laughs> implodes outwards, and we're going to go ahead and take our five minute break. Uh, just hey, so you what? guys can go to the loo and whatnot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> because otherwise, oh, we're going to be diving it. into combat and, and no break will happen. <laughs> so, uh, everyone go and use the loo, get a refill in your drink, your snacks, and we'll come in for a troll pact. Uh, yes, a poo battle uh, oh, in pets. five. Okay, we'll see you there. We are be everyone. <sighs>
Okay, let me give them the warning and we'll get straight into things and dive into a fun little battle. I wanted to give them a little fight chat so they could try out the level 6 stuff. And so now we get to do that. Alright, I'm going to say I'm muting in 20 seconds. And let's see if they've all rolled initiative. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. They roll initiative, all six of them. Let's go ahead and lower this down. Hello, hello. Hi. <laughs> hey. Welcome back. Uh, now I can do this music. and get you guys into the fray. So, mm -hmm. uh, the first round, uh, a fireball <laughs> goes off. Could you show me on the marker who it hits? Uh, yeah. This dude, this dude, and this dude. Okay. Uh, could you also roll Wait, a d20 so for me? Uh, and on a two or under, the fire is gonna fall. Okay, I'm not looking. Ooh. Okay. 17, I you're good. To, no, the if fire I had to freak out. <laughs> that didn't work. Implodes outwards. Could you actually, could you Ooh. mark it again for me? Oh, uh, yeah. You want me to do the circle thing instead? Yeah. I want to see if it reaches anything. Yeah, yeah. Hang on. Um, it better not hit the, the frog. flammable poo. No, it didn't, because she wouldn't have been able to see the thing. It was like here-ish. It definitely okay. hit frogs. You hit, hit the fucking frog. frog. Yeah. hit both frogs, dude. <laughs> frogs are Unreal. Uh, <laughs> frogs are an endangered You just hear hey. like a sad ribbit, just like a croak. Hold your fire! <laughs> <laughs> Stop! Right, I'm gonna do dick save so hit the... a frog! Those are an endangered species! <laughs> Alright, can't oh. see. Uh, what's the DC to beat? Uh, my spell save is a 16. Okay. I rolled a 28 way up at the tippy top. Okay. That is this guy. Okay. Uh, all right. Fail, Richard's fail. Richard's going to be so disappointed. <laughs> what about the um, frogs, though? Uh, they yeah, automatically the die no matter what. They have one HP, no! even if they succeed. Come on, uh, you dude. burn them to a crisp. Uh, uh, Rogue six for dinner, everyone. 20. <laughs> Uh, okay, the third one. Uh, so this one, this one succeeds. The other two fail. Okay. Um, it was twenty-eight, dear. Twenty-eight points of fire damage to each of them, except for this guy who takes fourteen. Um. <coughs> okay. Uh. Good stuff. All right. So, uh, the fire goes off. Uh, that'd be your action for the turn. We'll get around to the rest of your turn uh, when it comes up. But the fire goes, plumes outwards, hits them exactly, and then dissipates. And you see all of them go, oh, Tech, you're up first. All right. Um, I'm going to channel echoes. Uh... Okay. okay um which one which uh which one's got hit uh the three took full to the damage. this one uh the the this one took full damage and this one took full damage the one down here the one by the poop <clears throat> okay i'm gonna echo blast this one okay oh baby Ugh. A it, nine. Oh uh, no! Because in that way, you see a dip right underneath the water as it pff, hits against the top of it and pulls back up. It's Can't another see. frog. Pushes his hair out the eyes. Oh, like, oh what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that oh, frog just got blasted. <laughs> Sorry. And so you, you see him come back up. You shoot the next one. He notices a bit of, fly, of fire on his hair. And he dips under the water again. It just pff, hits again against the water. <laughs> no. Pops and goes, oh. <laughs> it's like. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's uh, my turn. <laughs> okay. Carla. I tap targeting next time, dear. Oh, my God. Carla's going to also aim at the one 
<laughs> okay, yeah. yeah. Someone has to hit this one now. Carla's like, he all pops the frogs near again. that one are dead. Don't embarrass me, dude. <laughs> no! Yeah, he pops his head out and his hair's over his eyes, giving you such an easy target. Just like strike him straight in the head. Um, that is 17, uh, 23, 28. 28 points of damage as he just gets hit directly in the head. He goes, What's going on? Just a scream in the center of the river. Uh, and I'm a bonus action. Uh, what if we don't kill I'm gonna them? Move a little bit more over this way. I'm in a bonus action uh, attempt to hide again. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna stealth 28. Yeah, you, you slip straight back in there. He definitely didn't see who did it. All the others are looking around for the fire, um, <laughs> and he had his hair in his eyes. He's got an arrow just stuck and bedded into his head. Um, what a dummy. Desmond. Uh, I'm gonna open with my hunter's mark on the closest one. Okay. Yeah, you see this one holds up his club. Uh, you hit him with the old hunter's mark. Yes. Um. Yeah, I'll take my two shots. Okay. Uh, cool. Why not? And hope. Uh, twenty-four hit to hit him. I do have it turned on. Okay. Oh, uh, 15 damage on that one. 15 points of damage. Uh, now he's vexed, so I can flat roll it. Uh, 25 to hit the next Hips. shot uh, for 14 more. 14 more damage. <laughs> yeah. Cool. You're and that's all for into me. Him. Nice. Uh, skips this turn, skips this turn, skips this turn. Andrasa. <clears throat> <clears throat> yes, what? Oh, shit, I've got to go. I thought it was going to be more turns. Um, all so right. you used your action. I did. So, what? I've got a bonus action or a reaction left. That's it. Any movement, yeah. Is that what we're saying? Um, all right. I think I will um, actually just sort of back up a little bit. Um because I don't really have anything good that's a bonus action or a reaction, so that's it. Okay. For me. V. Is this still surprise round? Yes. Yeah. Okay, but I cannot move. You can move. So surprise is just, oh. uh, they don't get a turn, essentially. Surprise is more of a condition Oh, perfect. Today. Yeah. Well, perfect. Uh, okay. He is going to say, beckons by blood, and she's going to dart forward to this one. Okay. And she is going to reckless attack it. Okay. With her great sword. You finally said dart instead of dash. Look at you. Hey. Oh my God. Nice. I'm growing every day. <laughs> I'm 25. So proud of you. 25 hits. <laughs> okay. Oh, or I should say can... at this point, because you said you rested up for the night, you wouldn't have any of those extra benefits from your gun glaze. Yeah, 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 yeah. I turned those off. Mm. Those are off. Uh, yeah. Ten points of damage. Rip. Okay. Um, can I use Savage Attacker to re-roll that damage? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I think I can do better. On the... On yeah, the, that's what I thought. One. 16. Good choice. Uh, I think it only re-rolls ones, isn't it? Or does it any uh, nav dice? I thought it was... Let me check out, yeah. Savage Attacker, you, you roll the whole damage. use either total. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you okay, so we roll the damage. damage. Okay, so nice. Get so, per turn. An extra and then you choose which one you want. Okay, okay nice. second attack on him. 24 to hit. 24 hits. You guys are for rolling hot. damage. Yeah, 14 damage. All right. Yeah, everybody. Uh, all of us are rolling hot. Sorry. All six yeah, they've sort of already All six luck. of them roll hot. All six of them. <laughs> you uh, were surprised as well. It's okay. <laughs> I was also surprised by the oh, round. Shit, yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> you locked eyes with one of the frogs. It just like tears <laughs> welling up. I watched it die. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, so we skip <laughs> this one time. Morgane. <laughs> yeah, uh, Morgane doesn't really uh, know what she's fighting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, we attack from range, <laughs> so uh, Morgane will uh, position herself between. Uh, There's a waterfall her there, because and <laughs> the perceived <laughs> threat, and uh, she'll kind of like hold, take a stance, kind of tilt her head to the side, and I'm going to take the dodge action. <laughs> Okay, and, dodge action. Uh, ant anticipate a foe. All right. Then at the next top of the round, no longer surprise, like, 
Lads, we're being ambushed. This one is going the the fist puncher is gonna a fist punch <laughs> with his fists. Yes, <laughs> he punches with them. 15, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. He's dashing 55, 60, 65. Uh, I think 70, 75, 80. He'll rush around to here. You just see him moving oh, no. really fast. He's almost like running like a gorilla. He just pushes himself over his fist. You just see his great big pink fists go up. And he just starts roaring. But um, uh, he can't do anything around this turn. Um, however, I should show you guys that. Uh, okay, yeah, I'll get on to this once we start. Um, uh, tack. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Watching this guy just run up, Tack's gonna back up. <laughs> yeah, good idea. <laughs> um, I'm gonna shoot my uh my eight echo. Mm -hmm. Uh, Desmond, you're gonna hear over your shoulder. Hey, what are we doing, Tack? What are we doing? Are we are we are we gonna kill a guy? Are we killing a guy right now? Cause that would be amazing. And you, when you look over your shoulder, you see a little kobold on your <laughs> on your shoulder, <laughs> just looking around, looking really excited. Um, this one is uh, that you're invisible until the end of your next turn or oh. until you mm. hit a creature with an attack. Uh, when you do take the attack, you do necrotic damage equal to a roll of the Bardic Inspiration die. Um, and... Uh, the creature is frightened until the end of its next turn. That's sick. Nice. Okay. <clears throat> so else? I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to shoot another Bardic Inspiration to... Uh, I'll shoot it to Carlisle. Okay. Thank you. Be like... I'm rooting for you guys. I'm really excited that all of you are doing really well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very, I'm not bitter about it at all. I'm really happy about it. So keep doing whatever you're doing. <laughs> Carlo, is your turn. Uh, Carlisle's going to, uh... boy, oh boy. Uh, he's hiding right now. Mm -hmm. So I think what Carlisle's going to do is, yeah, I mean, the gauge one, I... this guy took his turn just, recently yeah carlisle's yeah. gonna run up and actually help uh where he once saw desmond he's gonna run up uh from like sneaking kind of charge in and stab oh, with his careful okay wait what am i being careful of? you bumped me oh. <laughs> what the <laughs> you know describing it as charging it with his <laughs> this could have been really bad really quick 23 23 hits Four, uh, twenty. Oh, seven damage. Woo. All right. Just jam it straight into me. Goes. Ah! Just like clenches the fist together, not <laughs> showing what. Uh, not sure what stabbed him. Punches okay. his own fists. Yeah, and uh, that'll be that'll be me. Desmond, you started your cool. turn uh, within range of this. So could you please make a Constitution saving throw, please? Uh -oh. oh man! Is it a I poison effect? Just now. Oh, uh, no, this is just straight magical. Gross! Just stanky shit. This is just it's their just aura. It's just poop. Oh! That twenty. Uh, oh. Your body holds up against whatever effect That's is trying good, to but now we don't envelop know in what... there. Um, <laughs> it, it's good. Not if you never find out, it's always a benefit. Uh, uh your turn. <laughs> Uh, cool. I could sort of sneak away because I'm invisible. Thank God. Yeah. Uh, 10, 20. I'm going to get right here mm -hmm. so I can be within range of the one that I have marked. Uh, and I'm going to take <clears throat> my two shots at it. Okay. Yeah. He's still do it. Vexed. <laughs> Buddy, do it. Get in there. <laughs> I love this little guy. <laughs> I do too. Uh, 24 to hit. 24 hits. Uh, what is the extra damage? Uh, I sent you the... It's um, one roll of Bardic Inspiration. So uh, an that. eight. A roll a d8. It's one. Whoopsie. That's okay. Hey, but you know, I, I was invisible. I was able to get out of there. Yeah, and it's frightened of you now. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 
that's useful. Oh, uh, Joe, also this guy's sapped. Sorry, I forgot what the- uh, Oh, yeah. The spear thing disadvantage us. Cool. You're right, you're right, uh, you're right. Now I'll take my second shot. 22 to hit. Nice. I'm landing these. 22 uh, hits as well. Yeah, nice. Uh, for 15 more. Damage. Uh, for 15 more damage. This guy's already looking hurt. Cool. And then I'm going to use my amulet to make my crossbow be able to roll this within range. Okay. At the same guy as well. Oh, and let me change this in case it does crit. It also changes my crit range. Uh, it won't crit, but 20 to hit. 20 hits. Four. 10 more damage. I got good rolls on all those damage. more damage, hits. yeah. This one's just been powered with so many bolts of... Uh, uh, just kind of bleeding all over. Okay. okay. That's 25. Uh, and I will step back here, sort of trying to blend in with the brush as best as I can. And then that's okay. it. Uh, okay, next up is the Mulch Munch's turn. Uh, he's gonna climb up here for 10. They all have their thing, huh? Yeah. <laughs> this one's gonna climb up to here. They're like uh, a boy band. They are. <laughs> stinky, stinky uh, boys. Nasty boys. Just nasty, boys. nasty boys. Let me see. What does he want to do? Yeah, he's gonna do this. Uh... Yes. Oh no. Uh, he is going <laughs> to towards his own guy as well. Uh, he is going to first of all he'll make a a gnaw attack against UV, trying to okay. take a little bite. Uh, Fifteen to hit. It's exactly oh, what know. he needs. He has advantage because oh. you were reckless. <laughs> yep. Nat twenty. Yeah, yeah. No! That'll uh, do. 14 points of piercing damage. Uh, so reduced down Half, to 7. Right, because of... Yep. Okay. And then he's going to turn and go... And just burp all the way towards you guys. Oh. Let me see if he can... Let me see if he... Uh, fuck, dude. <laughs> Not okay. Uh, God, I can't smell it. Uh, so from here, oh, here, you will get a, uh, uh, he's only going to be able to hit one person. I'm going to go for Desmond, actually. Oh, my God. What? Oh, he uh, hid in the tree. <laughs> uh, he didn't hide, uh, per se. He has stood out with, like, a sore thumb. He RP uh, hit. <laughs> can you please make a constitution saving throw? Yeah, this one's also magic. Uh, there is no poison. These guys suck. <laughs> Ten. Uh, you take. Uh, six points of necrotic damage. And Ooh. you fall under the effects of spell sick. Um, what is that? Oh, no. Any spell cast by this creature causes them to take 1d4 plus 1d4 for each level of the spell. Until the end of their next Oh, turn. that's not so bad. It's just for spellcasters. Uh, as you basically just get hit by this kind of overwhelming amount of magic that seeps into you. Uh, okay. Uh, that's him. Uh, this guy is going to start swinging at you. This is the uh, Happy Club. Um, he makes... Happy Club. Yes. <laughs> uh, he makes his uh, Great Club attacks. Add advantage. Advantage. Yeah. Uh, well, he makes he makes uh, two attacks, one with his great mm -hmm. club and one with his gnaw or claw. Oh. So he's gonna go for the great club attack, twenty four to hit. Yeah. Uh, only nine points of bludgeoning damage. Um, Is that before or after reductions? Uh, that's before reduction, so you can reduce that down to four. Uh, okay. Okay, yeah, it, and it doesn't hit anything else there. And then it's going to go in for a uh, a claw attack. N uh, yeah, claw attack against you as well. 16. Okay. Yep. Uh, 10 points of slashing reduced down to 5. Okay. okay. I'm good, guys. Don't worry. 
Not much very happy about him so far. Not sure why you named him that. How does it feel, dear? Uh, kind of misleading. The next one uh, is going to step over to the side. Uh, yeah. He's going to step down here. And I think... Oh, that guy. He'll go for a disadvantage throw against Carlisle. And he picks up a bit of his dung and just launches it. Oh. Wow. Do not! <laughs> go! Close your mouth, Carlisle! Don't! <laughs> Don't do it! <laughs> Nat 20. <laughs> no! <laughs> right in your oh, open mouth as you're mouth. saying that. It's in his mouth. Fuck, you take um, like every horror movie ever. No kidding. You take uh, 22 points of bludgeoning damage as it just slams Jesus. against the side of your head. Um, Christ. And uh, it what? is going to drop this right on top of you. Huh. Uh, so you now share the field with this. You just see the emitting aura oh. coming off of this. Uh, okay, I'm going to uncanny dodge that. Okay. okay. Uh, I'm not going to take the full brunt of that shit that just got thrown at me. Sure. It's half a I, shit. It just, just winged me. It just <laughs> yeah. winged me a little bit. Don't oh my God. Like spin oh around. My God. <laughs> uh, and then I think it's going to throw another one, but this one will be at... Uh, it's got disadvantage. I already used up all my luck, but I'm going to try again. He's going to dunk throw at tack. Disadvantage. 18. Oh, come on. No. Yeah. No. 16 points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, Jesus. And you get hit by one of these as well. Uh, what the fuck, dude? As another one of its droppings lands straight on top of you. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> that's where it ends this turn. Indrasa. Uh... Does as the this nose question. Does work, like help at all? How bad is this? <laughs> uh, so uh, these are, yeah, these uh, emit the same aura as the guys do. Uh, could you please uh, make a Constitution save? Oh my god! Yeah, I'm so great at this. I don't have the thing yet. Fifteen. That's enough. Ooh. You you get with the, You can see this aura almost going outward of just decay from the poo um but you uh you managed to hold off against it just not breathing um two well, this, questions i will say this the nose uh uh goo would stop you smelling it this gets past any smell this, it's this like is, the bog of eternal stench yeah. it's just, just like <laughs> yeah. this is, this really is gets reference yeah this is essentially okay. cursed okay. magic in every so, sense of the word can i see the dung that was thrown like yeah. it's big enough that I can oh, see it's like it. Throwing I, mean, a rock. I assume because it's yeah big enough. It did decent yeah. damage to them. These things are hardened um, because it's it's all <clears throat> just stone and wood. Everything kind of pulled together. Okay. Okay, great. That's fantastic. Um, and then, okay, that was my first question. My second question, shit, no, never mind. I can't do that because it's a creature, and I'm assuming the poop is not a creature yet. Uh, you can technically target the poop. If I can target the poop, can I target the poop and not? I, I would. Can I magic missile the poop? It's is what I'm trying to do. You could. <laughs> okay. Can, then I would like to I do so. I okay. would like to. If I can see the poops, <laughs> so okay. disgusting. I would Which like ones? to. Which um, Yeah. I mean, like, I'm hoping to okay. destroy the poop before it becomes a bigger issue. Okay. Is my theory on this. Um. So I would like to. Uh, magic missile the the poops, please. Uh, okay, well, uh, dots going where? One to each poop. Uh, I'll do. Um, I guess I'll do two at the one on Tack and one at the one on Carlisle. <laughs> uh, the magic missile strike against all of them. They're immune to force damage. Cool. Ooh. Okay, it was worth a shot. Um, Indrasa is going to remove herself from the poop aura. Okay. Uh, first of all. So, um, <clears throat> shit, where's she going to go? She's going to go. She'll go here. 30. Okay. Um, 
I like to imagine then, this is like in a horror movie when somebody gets shot and they're like, don't leave me, don't leave me. And the other person's like, like oh, and she's yeah. just like, her whole body is just like super rigid from the like aura. And she's like, trying not to breathe, but realizing that it doesn't help, but she's trying no. anything, right? And so she's like, we figured this out. I have to move. You need uh, to move. <laughs> where? It's all I over me. Do, just get off the pat. It, it's fine. Just get move. And then that's all she could do because she tried to uh, blast them. Um, so yeah, so that's her turn. Then on V's turn, <laughs> you start... Uh, could you roll uh, a constitution saving throw? The DC is a little higher because you're next to two of them. <gasps> okay. Uh... 19. You hold off against it. <clears throat> okay. Um, all right, T. The, let's see. The one in front of me has, looks like it's taking more damage, right? This one? Yeah, this that one, one looks up. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Um, well, still reckless attack. It was worth it. Okay. Um, reckless attack. 17. 17 hits. Uh, I'm going to savage attack or that. For 16, I'll take the 16 damage on that. Okay, 16 damage on this guy. Uh, you cleave straight through that one, and you just feel your sword goes right through to a point where you slice enough that it falls back dead. Amazing. Uh, with her second attack, she's going to turn around to face the other one. Not the happy one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah. made you name him the happy one? There, there was like, happy obviously, he didn't get to that part of the the plot because he died. Uh, he, uh, I can, oh, I can tell you, yeah. If he hits you with his great club, if any other creatures within five feet gets a free hit against that creature, and he keeps going until there's no creatures left. Oh, um, oh my god! On well, that one, he targets oh. himself. So uh, uh, he basically oh. just keeps swinging his club happily. Hmm. Amazing. Um, when I killed that one, did. Bl it, did blood come out? What comes out of these? Did it uh, yeah, did there's, it there's, 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 there's blood. Yeah, these are okay, um, cool. these are giants by technicality. Okay, awesome. <clears throat> Twenty-five to hit this guy, that the happy hits? one. No, no, that's not no, the happy one. So the happy, happy one's dead. Oh, sorry. This guy's oh, the mulch muncher. Sorry. Okay, mulch muncher. Mm -hmm. Here's yours. Fifteen Munch damage. Face. Fifteen damage. Okay. Um and. Uh, V will uh, enter blood frenzy with this thing. Expend a hit die to do some okay. extra damage. Get some temporary HP, so 11 on top of that. 11 points of damage, and, and then it is bleeding. It is bleeding, exactly. Okay. And that's it. Okay, yeah, you turn just slicing this one. It's like, oh, what you do with him? Uh, <laughs> and then on the next turn that comes up is... Uh, this fella hasn't gone yet. This is the stench bringer. Of okay, course. come on. Yeah. The other ones were <laughs> stench bringer. The other uh, ones were not though. Like uh, that's terrifying. This one's the worst one. Um, for that, uh, he's gonna rush up. I Please he, don't. He's gonna go. Uh, he'd go five. <clears throat> he's gonna have to take. You'll get to here before taking the dash action. He'll take the dodge action. He'll get close and kind of watch. Um, but he won't be able to do anything just yet. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Where is the dodge? I'll just do this one. Uh, yeah, he'll take the dodge action. Um, and more game. Before you take your turn, once let me make sure I re reread his ability. Yes. Okay. Um... Could you please make a constitution saving throw? <clears throat> yeah. This is going to be emitting from this guy. DC's raised because of this Six guy. 16. You make it. You're good. Uh, you managed to hold off against whatever stench is being brought your way. <clears throat> okay. Firstly, shout out to my biggest hater, DMJ Fudge. Uh... My first power I'm spike in the entire campaign, I hit level 5 Warlock, he makes the combat immune to force damage. So I can't do any of the cool new shit uh, that I have. Yeah, so. that, I feel that, dude. 
I got Fuck cool yeah. AOEs that are all. Yeah, it's always damage. been your biggest hater, dude. Take it yeah. for real. Actually, Actually for real. I've heard him say that. I was like, Twitter. I can't wait to Eldritch smite a huge creature, knock him prone, immune. Uh, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> well, all we know is the shit's immune. They're all. That's immune. true. Oh, That's true. We just know oh. the poops. No, they bleed. We they never bleed, saw though. any force damage. Hit haven't used force guys. damage on the actual. Hey. They, they all the shit. That one's they all the shit. No, they're not. They bleed. They're real. They're not just shit. Okay. Bleed. 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 If it bleeds, it can take force damage. Dude. Let's go. <laughs> that's the Listen, rule. I believe that's, that's actually. Yeah, I that's false lots of no wasted it. You don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. fair. This is the only battle we're gonna do before a long rest. Uh, you may as well try it. Let's <laughs> try it. Look so at that fucking up. little grin Joe has, though. You know those things are yeah. using force oh, yeah. damage. Get his ass, dude. Um, get him. My game's gonna Shalora head and pray mm -hmm. and. uh kind of begin to almost glow uh faintly okay. and um you'll see like um some similarly dressed kind of ghosts manifest and among nice. them is sir kithic oh. uh, okay i'm gonna do spirit shroud hey oh shit. okay nice mm. um sick so cool for spirits of dead uh which fly around you for this duration uh, until spawns any attack you make does one day extra damage when you hit a creature within 10 feet this damage is radiant, necrotic, or cold. Uh, creatures can't regenerate. In addition, any creature of your choice that you can see starts at 7 10 feet you. Has its speed reduced? Uh, I'm going to choose this guy. Mm hmm. Wait, choose him for what? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, any creature of your choice that you can see that starts its turn within 10 feet of you has its speed reduced by 10 feet until the start of your next turn. I'm choosing I'm, him. I think it's. I choose, choose, choose you. It's just anyone who starts anyone. their turn within anyone. 10 feet. It's all right? creatures. Essentially, the the, the reason is any creature of your choice. Oh, well, yeah, because I so can you don't choose allies. that allies. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and that will be my turn. Okay. Brings me um. Back. Let me put a little aura on you, so you can see. And foot. Uh, what damage you type are you choosing for that as well? Uh, I will choose radiant. Okay. Um. All right. Uh, so you cast that. Uh. Anything with your bonus action? Or are you good? Uh, no. That was no. the bonus action. Yeah, oh, yeah, that was. Sorry, yeah, you started your action. You started oh, your yeah, action, I'll sorry. attack. Yeah. I'll yeah, attack Joe. this guy. Okay. Because I am. Go attack him. Um, 14? Oh, good question. Uh, 14 does not hit. Hater. And then using uh, Thirsting Blade, I'll attack again. Okay. For 20. 20 does. Okay. Um, it's gonna be for eight radiant damage, and then plus the D eight, another eight, so oh, sixteen. Good roll. <clears throat> uh, nice. All right, nice one. Yeah, sixteen points of damage. You just slice straight into him. Uh, the radiant just burning up him. Okay. And he's sapped. Uh, he was already sapped, so uh, he's, he's just, double sapped. Fuck he's <laughs> Just a sappy boy. Uh, okay. Fuck that guy. Uh, you have extra attack, don't you? Did you take the invocation? That was his extra attack. Yeah, I missed the first oh, one. Oh, sorry. Yeah, of course you did. One. You missed the second one. So I missed the first one. Of course you oh, okay. did. Yeah. Of course you did. Of course you missed. 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 his turn true, now. But... Uh, he's the fist puncher. Uh, uh, he is going to Ooh. make uh, four attacks. Uh, he is going to pick. I'm gonna say he'll pick. Uh, he'll do a nor attack towards Carlisle, uh, which is disadvantage. Twenty-one with is disadvantage. Is he eating his own shit? Uh, if he does that, please, no. Please. Yeah, Carlisle's gonna put the shit-covered sleeve towards him if he's got a fucking God, choice. He would bite it. right through that. Uh, uh, he he would he would uh, attack twenty-one. I rolled a nat twenty and a twenty-one, so you know I should have rolled a nat oh twenty. God. Um, so 10 points of piercing damage as he bites into okay. you. And then he's going to go for his fist attacks. Uh, he'll do, uh, a fist attack against Morgan. Mm hmm He'll do, no, he'll do the first one against Carlisle and then two against Morgan. 13 okay. to hit, uh, Carlisle. Doesn't hit. 20 to hit Morgan. Hits. Uh, you just see him turn, punch you across the face, 12 points of bludgeoning damage. Um, and dick. pushes okay. you back five feet. Um, and then 
Actually, now he's going to have to go for Carlo. Uh, he push, he's going to hit you in the face, Carlo. 23 to hit. That hits. Uh, and seven points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, causing you... No, he's not going to push you back. Oh, uh, kind of. Yeah, he just punches you downward. Tack. What a nice guy. Mm-hmm. You, could you My please gosh. make a con save for me, please, Tack? Yeah. I sure can, buddy. A five. Uh, five is a fail. Um, you... So stinky, no. dude. Uh, let me just see how long it takes. Okay, so to the start of your next turn, you are unable to receive any healing. No! Any oh my okay. God. You're in a degeneration order. Oh, no. uh, aura. Oh. Is this on me, or can I get out of this? Oh, that's just, it's falling off of you to the ground, yeah. It's on the, thank yeah. God, okay. Their, their poo is, I... like, essentially hardened. It's 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 more like rock. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay, that's not as bad. <clears throat> no. <clears throat> um, okay, I'm gonna cast Hideous Laughter on this one. We'll see if it takes, I don't know how okay, intelligent sure. these things are. What was the um, uh, uh, minimum intelligence they have to be? To yeah, avoid let me it? click it. Four, I think. It's more intelligent than four. How okay. much, though? <laughs> Not much. I'll save DC uh, is 16. He fails. Uh, what nice. do you say? Um, I think probably uh, Tack is coming out of this thing mm -hmm. just really dramatic about it. Like, yeah. you know, like, so... And this thing probably sees them doing that and thinks it's funny. And so Tack just leans into it with magic. Yeah. Like, oh, you think that's fucking funny? He sees us all seeing us. And he starts kind of like falling back into the water. Starts kicking his legs up. You can see the water starts splashing. Um, and he's bleeding all over the place in it. Uh, yeah, he's he's under the effect God, of hideous laughter. drowns in there. <laughs> Jesus, hate these Fantastic. guys. Fantastic. Uh, uh, I'll shoot a bardic inspiration to V. Okay. Be like, there you go. My <laughs> contribution. He's just spurring up water into the air as he laughs. laughs. He's drinking it back at the same time. Carla. Oh my God. Con save, please, Carla. Do my con save. Uh, seven. Um, Until the start of your next turn, you are unable to receive any. I'm heat. not done. I'm going to add the D8 now. That's a six. That brings me up to a 13, and I'm going to bring it up to a 16 with Fortune of the Many. You manage to hold it against it. Your body starts to do it, but you, you push on yeah. it. Stop gagging. Let's <laughs> 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 suppress it. All right, Carlisle's going to rotate over to here. I'm going to use the help action with my bonus action mm -hmm. to give both Morgane and I uh, 1d6 uh, okay. plus 3 temp HP. We're both going to get 7 temp HP. Nice. Ooh. I'm going to use an opportunity to teleport over to this prone hey. man. Okay. Right here. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to attack at advantage on this guy. <laughs> Amulet goes off. You land right next to him and stab downward in the water. Uh, that hits. That's 20 for uh, 14, uh, 23 damage. 23 damage. He's also looking hurt now as well. Uh, you just stab straight downwards into him. You just see the blood pool up on the water. Uh, uh, this is incapacitated. He has to make like a save, right, to remain incapacitated. Yeah, is it uh, hit his love? Does it happen at the any time they take damage? Each of the turns, and each time he takes damage, yes. Uh, he has to make another wisdom saving throw, but I can tell you uh, he's not the best at them. Uh, he makes it 17. Uh, mm. you stab straight into uh -huh. him and his face goes serious. He goes, that wasn't funny. <laughs> he just like looks up at you. <laughs> and what's that pouring off him? He's angry looking up at you. Okay. The rest uh, of us laugh. In that case, I'm <laughs> going to, uh, well, he's prone and he already has disadvantage. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I have 30 feet of movement still. Go for it, dude. Do it. I wanna fucking do it. Get to do this it. Guy so we can't do it. Throw shit Come on. Yeah, Car Carlisle's gonna fucking dart towards this guy. I'm gonna take the opportunity attack and I'm gonna mm -hmm. run towards uh, the one that's been throwing shit at us. I'm gonna check something real quick. Uh oh. Uh, 
Let me see ahead. Uh, let me see. Try to check something that I can do. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, do go on. Oh, I need to double check it before I burst into it. Mm. Uh, okay, where is it? Where is it? Where is it saved? In here? No. I just move back to where I was. Is that no, like no, this you kind just stay there for a sec. Okay. It, it might, it might not be. It might not be. <laughs> uh, where is it? Where Good, grab you? your ankles, dude. Ooh. That's gonna be like hellish rebuke, but. <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Poop rebuke. Where the hell is it? Uh, here it goes. Um. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. He's gonna yeah. instead of attacking you with uh anything, he's gonna try and grapple you as you run. Uh so uh make a make a acrobatics or athletics check against uh <laughs> beat a six. It's a twenty six. <laughs> you just <laughs> you you, you man, you're like twenty feet away before he goes, Got you <laughs> and he puts his hand out, <laughs> just grabs the air. What the <laughs> Where'd he go? <laughs> his hair's in his eyes again. The water's just kind of pushing it all this across guy like just seaweed. really needs a headband. Uh, okay, yeah, you're good. <laughs> um, Desmond. Um, God, we are scattered, huh? We're all just mm. fighting our own battles right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, I think while Carlisle's got that one distracted, I'm going to move in within 30 feet. I'm going to shift my Hunter's okay. Mark with my bonus action to him. Okay. Uh, and try to take my first shot. The 19. Uh, on the dung tosser, that does hit, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for 14. 14 points of damage. And then a second shot. Natural 20. Ooh, nice. nice. Hell yeah. Good. Lovely. Uh, so it'll be 9 plus... 12, 21. Round points of damage just pelt into you. He goes, oh, stop it. I'm kind of trying to guard himself with his hand. <laughs> um, And then I'll move 10 more feet. This is uh, like leaves, the red ones. Yeah. Right under me. That's uh, not a bush. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I can like move under. You right look there. under okay, a tree. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's all for me. All right. Uh, The mulch muncher is going to stand up on his turn. Uh, he takes... Is your rage still two or is it three? Uh, it's two. Okay, two points of bleeding damage as he gets up. Uh, and then he is going to... Yeah, he's got you both in range of this. You step a little closer. He's going to go... And just burp and belch all across both of you he's guys. Um... Thank God the frog's already dead, so it's like <laughs> Don't worry, I killed the frogs. <laughs> you saved it from this. So can I get con saves from both of you? Why, yes. That's what. Hey. Yeah, you managed to guard against Beautiful. it, like pull up uh, the thing. And 14's 14. also enough as well. Uh, on, you only take half on a success. Uh, so you only take three points of necrotic damage each. Is the kind of... The spray of this necrotic uh, uh, belch comes towards you. You don't take any effect. And then he's going to take a claw attack against UV. And he has there advantage. You. Go for it. 19. Actually, he would still have sap. He would still have sap. He doesn't have advantage. Hey. 15. Yep, that's what he needs. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm fine. Uh, 10 points of slashing <laughs> reduced down to 5 as he just slices okay. across you. Uh, okay, and I'm trying to move the happy club. Uh, all right. Back over to uh, the dung tosser. Um, he is. You've given him disadvantage now. Yeah. Uh, he'll do a disadvantage dung throw right at you. Don't you <laughs> dare! <laughs> 16. <laughs> <laughs> that meets my AC. God damn it. You just run at him and go, oh, just launch it right in your face. <laughs> uh, you take six, reflex. six points of bludgeoning oh damage God. as you're hit by it. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, and then he's going to do Simpsons. another. He's like trying to get a war gun off someone, but way worse. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a super soaker. <laughs> and you know, he's going to throw one. Uh, and, no, and then he'll claw you. And he'll claw you. Um. 
coming towards he's, him. He's, he's found his nemesis. He's decided. <laughs> yeah. This you guy. get hit by it, and I rolled a net 20, so he uses the moment you get hit in the face, where the poo just slices you across the face. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, my God. No, seven, it's going to get infected. 17 points oh, of slashing no. damage. As you just okay, goes I'm, I'm going to dodge that one. Okay, you only take eight points of slashing damage. Um, uh, that's his turn, though. <laughs> you, just... you got hit with the mud pie surprise. <laughs> <laughs> gross. Oh, Dress it. So gross. Okay, um, I think... It's going to take my action, but I think um, Indrasa would have seen uh, kind of Morgane's attacks and knows mm -hmm. that Morgane um, attacks with radiant damage. So she's going to um, kind of stand up even straighter than she normally does and just sort of look up slightly and to the right. And as she does... Um, she gets a little bit taller, and she looks maybe a little bit, um, glowy. Like a real pale, shitty imitation of maybe Zonia, kind of. <laughs> oh. Um, and I'm going to use my level six, uh, subclass feature. So, uh, <gasps> what it is, is, um, I'll read it because it's the first time I'm using it. Um... You have embraced the possibilities of alternate versions to a point where you can shift the very fabric of your outer body into creatures far unlike your own. You can spend oh. your action transforming yourself into a different creature type and gain benefits based on the type. What and the so fuck? what she has done is she has become slightly celestial, like celestial Indrasa. Mm. Um, so I have... Uh, Resistance to radiant damage, which is not what I'm going for, but spells from my altar spell, so that would be magnify gravity and corporeal shunt, can deal radiant damage instead of force. It takes nice. my action. Wow. Um, and I'm going to then, I think, also just reposition myself kind of uh, here. And then that is my turn. Okay. Yep, you just turn into the celestial version of yourself. Uh, Dang. V. V also does that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no big deal. Uh, yes, I will reckless stack this one in front of me. Okay. 19. Hits. For 15 damage. 15 points of damage. Uh, you just bring your blade straight across the mulch munch and you just see the spray blade goes. <laughs> Just falls back against the rocks, dead. I almost feel bad. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> almost. <laughs> On to the next. I'm gonna come over by Carlisle and attack this one. Okay. Don't be too close to him. He's covered in oh, shit. Oh, sorry. Could you get a con save <laughs> as well? Yeah, Just to see cool. if you got. If you're. Uh... 21. Yeah, you're good. You resist the effect. I'm good. 19. 19 hits. Uh, Savage attacker, 18. Okay, Damage on nice. that. Uh, yeah, you just slice into it again. Blood sprays ac across the ground. He's like, stop coming um, out. <laughs> All I want to do is eat you. <laughs> Why you just want to eat you? <laughs> Why are you guys so mean? <gasps> I'm just oh. hungry, please. <laughs> Me too, bud. Uh, the stench bringer uh, right next to you. Sam is going to make an attack with its gnaw and its claw. Uh, 12 does not hit you. Nope. Uh, and 23 does, right? So the bite goes down, but he kind of misses your armor, and then the claw slices across, and there's 12 points of slashing damage as his claw hits okay. against you. Um, and then he's going to step around you and get to here. Uh and end his turn there. On your turn, can you please make a con save? Yeah, oh, I need to make another one anyway. It's emitting from him. Oh yeah, from the attack to see if you maintain. Yeah, so that's my concentration, and then it'd be a fourteen is the con save. Uh, it's exactly what you needed, so you're good. Ooh. Okay. Um, I'll maybe we'll step forward. Uh, entangled with both both creatures mm -hmm. um attack the one that attacked her uh let's see 
24 hits. For 14 uh, radiant damage. 14 radiant damage. It's the first time this uh, one's been hit, then, so he just goes like, oh, oh, How are we doing in this fight? The, follow through with the swing <laughs> uh, and attempt to cleave into this one as okay. well. 16. Uh, misses that one. That one's got higher AC. Okay. He clinks off of his fists. He's like, I think we're winning. Cool. Um, yeah, that's my turn. Okay. Uh, on this one's turn, uh, this guy's sapped as well. I'll put that on him. Uh, the fist puncher is going to make his uh, four attacks. His gnaw and his three fist attacks against you, Morgane. Uh, 20 unnatural for the bite. Seven well, is it until the end of my next turn or your next turn? Your next turn. Okay. Yeah, that hits. Uh, wait, which one? Oh, yeah, you're, you're fair. Okay. Uh, yeah, seven points of piercing. I had AC, yeah. Okay. Uh, 21 for a fist. Hits. Nine points of bludgeoning. Uh, 10 to hit does not hit. Uh, 24 to hit on the final hit for another yeah. 10 points of bludgeoning. He just punches you twice in the face. Oof, dude. Okay. Sorry. Bless, Bless you. you. Bless you. Tack. You no longer affected uh, by that, that effect. aura. Ah, oh, sick. Okay. Um, I'm going to toll. Uh, fist puncher. <laughs> okay. Fucking fist puncher. See how he does. What the fuck? Oh. Why is this my life? <laughs> D12 always so much yeah, worse. It's Fucking weird. D12. It's very strange. Uh, but he does fail, so he does take the full seven. Um, Great. Regardless. <laughs> um, uh, so, yeah, he takes the full seven. You can see him go... Kind of shakes it off. Um, I'll give... Uh, Morgane, you don't have a bardic right now, right? No. I'll give you one. And that's my turn. Okay. Carla. Uh, 14 on the con save. Thank you. Is that a pass? Yeah, you're good. Okay. Uh, yeah, Carlisle's going to rotate around this horrible creature. Okay. I'm going to use my bonus action to, uh, swig a, uh, potion of healing. Okay. I'm going to max it out, and I'm going to add, um, another surgical die on top. Of it okay. As temp HP. So I'm going to get seven temp HP. And I'm gonna add ten base HP, and then with my action, I'm gonna fucking stab this guy. Go for uh, it. An eleven does not hit. Would a fourteen make it a success? Uh, or, uh sorry, a, a thirteen. Are you gonna expend the feature to see? Uh, <laughs> I get to know automatically if it would make it a success. Oh, does it? Slammed. Does it say if, if it was gonna be a success? Well, then, in case no, no, it does not. <laughs> <laughs> not use it because it, it, allow, it, it makes down. you it makes it so whatever your is is a success that's how you use it so okay uh then that's my <clears> turn <throat> okay desmond uh i'll try to finish that guy off on the right okay yeah i was really hoping carlisle would but uh wow the shade <laughs> uh 27 to hit 27 hits uh, nine damage. Nine points of damage. Uh, 18 to hit. 18 hits. Cool. Uh, for 11 more. 11 more damage. He's hurt. Uh, he is vexed, so I could take a disadvantage shot with my crossbow. It. it would be flat roll. Flat roll, instead. yeah. Do it, do it, do it. Uh, nat 20. Hey! Nat 20 obviously hits. Yum. Uh, for 16 damage. 16 damage. Uh, the final bolt goes, sh strikes into it. He goes, slaps it straight on top of the ground. Uh, dead. Sick. Sick. Um, I think I'll stay here. Off. Actually, I'll go right behind the trunk of the tree. Okay. Uh, that will give you three cores cover. Uh, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, this guy's dead. Uh, this guy is dead. So it's Andrasa's turn. All right, dear. I'm going to 
uh, stay where I am, and I would like to cast Magnify Gravity in this area here so that it gets okay. both of the trolls. And I'm going to upcast it to third level. Okay. So let me just get that out. Let's see if this... It's con saves, right? Do. I always have to ask. It is... Yeah. Um, I have to look as well. Sorry. Yes, it is, which I'm sure they are good at, but that's all right. Uh, so that is 14... Uh, 25, DC 16. They both succeed, so they would take 12 points of damage each. Uh, and Does not the pad get hurt? Uh, what damage type is it? Force? No. Uh, radiant. It's A radiant, radiant uh, because I am no. celestial. No, it right. does not. Good to know. All right. Uh, that is my turn. Okay. V. All right. Uh, can you make Far a con save? Because you did technically stay, start returning closer. That's fine. Poop. Oops. Uh, 16. You're good. Okay. Let's see. Uh, oh, yeah. I can get there. Let's go. Darts forward. I didn't say dash two <laughs> times this session. <laughs> Reckless so attack. This okay. One. 23. Hits. 16 damage. 16 damage. And the second attack. 21. Hits. Nice. For 18 damage. 18 points of damage. Very nice. Um, All right. Anything else? I think that's it for this one. Uh, this one's turn, he's like, the rest of them are dying. What do we do? This one's like, oh, more food for us. Keep killing. So he's going to go in for a... Keep killing. Uh, he'll go against UV. Uh, he's a disadvantage mm -hmm. in his first one, so he's going to go for a Gnaw. 11 doesn't hit. It would be neutralized, oh, right? Neutral. Because of yeah. my... Yeah. 11 was the number on the left regardless, so uh, okay. it, that's what I'll take. Does not hit. Uh, and Claw uh, would be advantage attack because mm -hmm. it's only Vex on the one, which makes it a nat 20. Okay. Uh, he turns and slashes you. 18 points of slashing damage reduced down to 9. This is okay. Massive Claw You're comes across You're rolling kind of snasty, dear. I am rolling kind of snasty. I mean, you guys rolled very, very well in the first round outside of one person, but... Uh, it's, wow. uh, it's picking up. Well, I just, you know, huh? look. It, nothing. I didn't even attack it's on the first round, so. What? <laughs> okay, yeah. Huh? Four of you fight. Um, uh, Morgan, uh, con save, please. Con save. Nat 20. Thanks, right. Slay. Success. Uh, I have a question for you, actually, Joe. Mm -hmm. Warlock's always cast at the highest spell slot. Yes. However... With the item I have, the helmet that gives me spells. Yes. What is it? Uh, are, they up, are they upcast to my spell level or do they stay at their spell level? Uh, let me look at the item. Where are you? So I get charges of Wither and Bloom on the, on the helmet. Mm -hmm. It's a second level spell. But as a warlock, would I be casting it at that or to stay second? Uh, let me mm -hmm. just find the helmet quickly. Where is it located? Is it still well, in our... Well, what's the answer you want? Because Joe hates you, so... He's gonna... <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's under Vault of Death, Three Doors, Visage of Tranquil Death. Got it, got it. It was hidden away in my folders. Uh, okay, um, and you're looking at the feature... Yes, from beyond. The DC of these spells is 14 of all your spellcast modifier and spell attack rolls have a plus 6 of your spellcast modifier. You may use that instead. This mask has 3 charge and retains all charge back at dawn. You can use it to cast Wither and Bloom. 1 charge, bestow cast. 2 charges, Death Ward. 3 charges, and Spirit of Death. 3 charges. I would say uh, it's cast its base level just because it's uh, 1 charge. So the design of it. But I would say you can mm. upcast up it if you'd like, spending additional charge for each one. Um, because it was balanced around the spell level um, of each one. It's technically okay. the item casting cool. it. So, but I will yeah, let yeah, you use the charge. I just wanted to ask. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I'll cast a, a Wither and Bloom. Okay. Um, How many charges are you going to spend on it? Just the one. Just okay. so, shove a sword into the ground and uh, all the plants uh, around them in 10 feet will die. Uh, although they're dying anyway. Yeah, what's shit. new with these right. guys? They think, oh, one of us. <laughs> 
Um... Oh, now they think <laughs> you're friends. Con save, isn't it? We uh, like her. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. a con save, yeah. Uh, fail and a success. So uh, the stench bringer succeeds. Uh, yeah, it's going to be eight necroic damage, half on a success. Okay. Eight to this guy, four to this guy. Um, and then you heal for a little bit, don't you? Yeah. Is it going to push yeah. up? And they're like, oh, you can't do that to us. And then I heal for 12. Okay. Nice. Um, yeah, it's my turn. Uh, okay. That's not an attack, right? Because it was a no. save. Uh, all right. Uh, the fist punch's turn. He's going to start swinging. Uh, he's going to go for his gnaw. As he is known to do. Uh, he takes a bite. Seven points of piercing damage because it's 22 to hit. Damn. Okay. Uh, then he goes for a fist. 13 doesn't hit. 12 doesn't hit. 19. Hits. 11 points of bludgeoning. As he just punch, he's punched down you, block off two of them, and he just swings in the third one and knocks you. He's like, I've nearly finished this one. Get the others. <laughs> Your turn, Tech. I'm going to try to toll again. Okay. Same oh, dude. Yeah, um, I believe. Right, you failed. 17. That's much better. <laughs> damage. Yeah, nice. As he goes, nice. kind of tries to shake it off. You can see portions of him start to decay and rot. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's me. <laughs> Carla. Quick turn. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, Carlisle's gonna Let's see here. Uh, I'm going to run around the shit smell. Okay. Uh, and proceed to bonus action dash. Okay. And fucking stab this thing. Uh, if so possible. 22. Hits. For, uh, let's see here, 17, 21 damage. 21 points of damage. Nice. Awesome. Cool. Okay. That's my turn. Yeah, uh, they're and both... And he's sapped. And he is sapped. They've both taken quite a bit of damage. Uh, Desmond. You're muted. Is this the Shane mute it's moment? It's kind of embarrassing. <gasps> oh, yeah. Yay! Still we did bit. it! Wow. <laughs> uh, I'm within range of the that one right there. The collection is almost complete. <laughs> yeah, who's left at this point? <laughs> uh, so I'll move my Hunter's Mark to the closest one. Okay. At the bottom. And I will take my two shots. That's only a 13. 13 does not hit. Yeah. Sure doesn't. But what about a 15? Is his AC. Okay. Uh, 16 damage. 16 points of damage. And then I will just dip back behind the tree again. Okay. Uh, no bonus action use? Uh, it's my Hunter's Mark move. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Andrasa. Hi. Um, all right. Oh, I should also say the... How much health does the crossbow have? Uh, 18. Uh, I probably broke it. It No, you want to... Do you, how much damage did you do? No. Did you hit it? I don't remember. She did I did do magnify, a magnify gravity. gravity. Oh, no. What Not have you done? Crossbow. Not uh, the crossbow. Not the crossbow. We just talked know, about this. We just talked about the crossbow. The magnify gravity was 12? No, 11. Um, no, I think I it was a lot it. more. I think it was... Oh, wait. It was I think they cost. took half. Oh. Yeah, 22, uh -oh. 25. You fucking killed it. 25 uh, damage. The frogs. The crossbow. The frogs. The crossbow. <laughs> I think uh, it, it would get to roll a con save, technically. Um, because yeah, it's If it's a con save, it, can, it can't make deck saves, but it can yes. make, like... Does it have stats? Other uh, ones. If not, then I would just give it a flat. problem is it doesn't. We haven't done stats here. I give it a so this would just be a d20? Yeah. Give it a flat 10. Come on, king. Stand up, King. Uh, oh, Get out no. of there, That's King. Get back up. Get out. <laughs> I don't think objects up. can make con saves, though. I don't know. It didn't look like The reason I'm okay with a con save is because it's almost like how well you're built. 
in this. Uh, How well like you made object. it. Yeah. yeah. Built different. Yeah, it's like a. Ow, ow, this ow, was not ow. built to last. It's built with tape. <laughs> Gravity was its enemy. It got crushed. <laughs> <laughs> Rip. Um, but it is your turn, Andres. Sorry, oh. dear. It is my turn. Um, That's so be. I'm breaking his. <laughs> I can't believe this. Fucked up. We were talking about how uh, you've never broken Shane's crossbow, and he's like really happy about it, only for his teammate to break it. Yeah, you, <laughs> Joe doesn't need to break it because yeah, right. we will find a way to destroy yeah, it. By break it. It's if it fine. wasn't Andres, it would have been me on accident somehow. <laughs> Just um, somehow. I think I'm going to. Uh, they're both pretty hurt, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Let go of my hand. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. One of the frogs Sam, survived. Please. Sam. Um, okay, I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna magnify gravity there again. Okay. Concept. Um. Uh, and I again right concepts, sure but fucking yeah. Dead for real. One six. Yeah. I, really you know, so I hate succeed. that turret. I hate Tell that motherfucker to split us. I can't stand uh, the turret. This one succeeds. In the way this one fails. <laughs> Um, all right, sorry, dear. Uh, uh, 27. 27 points of damage. Uh, okay, this one takes 13. Uh, this one is dead. This one gets... Right. Uh, are we winning? Are you sure? It just kind of crushes to the ground while its bones kind of breaking from the magnify gravity. Uh, okay, yeah, the other one's still up there. Um, and then I'm going to stay there. That's my turn. V. Murder my puppy. All right. <sighs> I'm going to enter the stink cloud. Okay. Oh, don't. Don't do it. Save yourself. <laughs> Ten. No, no, you don't need to make a concept. This isn't you, a stink oh, cloud. The stink cloud ends oh, like that. That's Sam's beautiful oh, cloud. And also, a, oh, yes, more game cloud. also, it's only oh, if you start your turn next to the stink cloud. It's my aura of undead knights. <laughs> oh, okay. God, Maybe game, a little bit stink. stinky if they're undead. <laughs> Me is just like, hey, Kiddick. <laughs> <laughs> the sigh. All right. All right, reckless attack. Okay, 27 hits. 15 damage. 15 points of damage. 15. One more attack. Nat 20. Nat 20. Hey. Add all that up. Uh, okay. <laughs> you do it. Can I stop <laughs> I, I think I can do better. <laughs> if you ever happy. make me do your math, I halve the damage. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh my God, can I change that, that to a 26 as a, with Savage Attacker um, for damage? Can I, hey, can I uh, ask you a question instead? Do you want to describe uh, how you oh. kill the troll pat? Yes, I would. Um, okay, V is going to... Uh, okay, can I get really flavorful with this? Go all the flavor you like. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Yeah, it's really good going time to, to apply flavor. Bree's moment is <laughs> like a poop fight, fight, right? Yeah, she's ready. V is literally gonna like launch in the air with like her sword, <laughs> um, going for its head and like follow through so that its face falls right into its shit behind it. As okay, nice. For all the shit thrown. And you feel that the, the shit crushes b below it. Um, well, actually, it probably wouldn't. It would go into the ground with it. Um, and it just lies there, kind of like back head of it. Tongue lolls out. <sighs> and just blood pours out of its mouth as you kill off the final troll pat. Ending the encounter. <sighs> Perfect. <clears throat> yeah. That's disgusting. What would you about have these? Fought some Poops. horrible things uh, so far, and this may have been the worst somehow. How do we get rid of these things? These. I think they said they'll do it, right? BMs. Ew. It's true. I guess they did, right? All right. I don't want to touch one. Well, so I will confirm. Uh, they were not immune to it. Force damage. That's why I was smiling. <laughs> <laughs> Sam was calling me an asshole and sitting there assuming it, so I, uh, I didn't want to correct. I didn't call you an asshole. I called you my biggest hater, which I still think yeah, is the truth. Enemy. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Sorry. I, I agree. Sorry, I that's nicer. Are, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's way nicer. Um, <gasps> okay. Should we move them in a pile or something? I could maybe mage hand I them. I don't want to touch them. So I'm not touching some them. Kind of magic for that. Yeah, no, I was I'd actually like... planning on washing myself off a little bit. I think that... I, I could get I through could... one fucking fight without getting disgusting. There's... Yeah, the tech will also go in the water. Yeah. 
Uh, while while everyone's talking about this, <laughs> V's gonna don't... kneal in front of the body. Shit. <laughs> don't you deal with, oh, no. with the shit troll. And well, specifically, she'll make sure it's one that's that she didn't just cover in shit. Um, yeah. <laughs> She's going to, with her claws, like dig through its innards and find the source of like the bloodiest part of it. Um, and she's going to perform uh, her uh -huh. new feat. Yeah, probably the heart. Let's go, um, baby. I don't know. I don't want to assume what's inside this thing. Um, she's going to perform her bloodbath new feat oh. that she got. Feat chef, feat chef. And feature yes sorry sorry it's a different thing it's uh, i'm just a breathing okay he's getting feet <laughs> breathing six, what the fuck's going <laughs> on see, see, they, yeah, see, they, you're gonna get one of those you're gonna get me in trouble <laughs> <laughs> sorry it's a feature it's a feature um, <laughs> she's going to like um do what she did the first time you ever saw her do this like episodes ago but she's gonna with the blood in her well, hand she dumped not quite there was a different moment she's gonna take the blood drag it up her neck over her mouth as she's like breathing it in and leaning her neck back. And then she's going to take both hands on the heart, raise it above her, crush it over her head and like bathe in the blood basically. Um, and with that, you said these were giant. Of, yeah, giant. Of, okay. Get, so with giant um, until I perform a new ritual, I believe doing this, like this blood bath, I think oh. I get these perks. Is that right? Uh, you do. One of them is misworded though. It should say you have a plus five the first bit because you already have that when you're raging oh okay so you gain uh plus five to strength athletics check yeah with yeah. this one while you're raging. okay oh. um while you're raging and you cannot be moved against your will if you didn't use your movement during your last turn beautiful um so bloodbath by the way uh you're able to find power in various forms of blood you can spend your action performing a 10 minute ritual with a type of blood um and you get to gain unique properties from it you can only have one of these properties active at a time, and upon performing a new ritual, the old one fades. Additionally, creatures that do not have blood can now be affected by blood frenzy and are yeah. dealt force damage instead. That's sick. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice. You got Hell the giant yeah. blood courses over you. You can see it seeps into your skin and kind of almost just infuses into it, strengthens you. You feel like muscles growing around you um, as you are uh, enhanced by blood. Cool. Beautiful. Joe and Carlisle go and collect all the dead frogs so we at least have some dinner out of this mess. Yeah, <laughs> the, the benefit of... Uh, actually, no, actually, it wouldn't be like this in truth. I was going to say you'd have these perfectly cooked frogs, but what it would really be is, like, super burnt on one side and then just yeah, three on the charred. other. Yeah, it's, also, yeah. they're This, full this, one, this, all this one is just going to smell of stew. shit as well, just to clarify. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Carla, it's maybe this one. <laughs> yeah, a frog. We get a frog for dinner. A sure, singular yeah. frog. Oh. Well. I guess, can I also sift through the remains of my best friend to get my crossbow back? Oh my god, his best friend. What crossbow, bro? There's a piece of string left and some wood. <laughs> it's, it's gone. Let them go. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, boy. dear. It just seemed like you weren't using it. You uh, were very handy. I thought boy. you could just rebuild it right away. Give me a... Uh... Do you want me to help you pick it up? Give me a... Do you use Tinker's Tools? You do, don't you? Yeah. Give me like a Tinker's Tools check. Um, a disadvantage because oh. you're sad. Uh, yeah, I'm kidding. A disadvantage because <laughs> yeah. you're sad. <laughs> Just to see what kind we of parts you can, you can... <laughs> but I'll guidance myself then. I'll guidance we myself with a disadvantage. A <laughs> uh, guidance only works if you're happy. <laughs> oh. Wow. Uh, so, uh, 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 you don't have to have disadvantage to them. <laughs> you don't have to listen to their power game, man. I'll take the left roll. Uh, with, a, with, a, with a 25, uh, you are able to um, pretty much pull apart all of the stuff you're going to need. Uh, you'll be able to repair it. You just have to kind of hammer in the sides yeah. again and kind of um, uh, anything that's bended in, you can just you can pull it back together. Just take you a little bit of time. But yeah, you get all your parts back. Cool. Lovely. Um, Gross. I guess we could search the yeah. area, see what we see. Sam and I will let you know when you're not sad anymore. Okay, Shane? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, office. man. Got it. Um, you can do like a little investigation check if you want to search the area. Sure. Yes. 16. Uh, 
I can tell you that uh, uh, it's a good thing you accepted the loot because uh, there's one thing to be said about troll pads is they wouldn't leave any loot behind. Um, I'm assuming they just digest they, everything. Yes, they, they anything they Day, come across yeah. and they poop it out. You could collect troll pad poop if you like. No. Um, obviously, whilst carrying it, you would probably be taking these saving throws to see if you're under the effect, <laughs> but maybe it comes in use. No. No, I'm, I'm good. All right. <laughs> An anti-healing Thanks, grenade. Still, man. <laughs> um, yeah, right. Uh, but it would, yeah, it, it's, uh, uh, you can feel free to leave it behind. Uh, but that would be the only loot you can really find. Okay. Yeah, I just don't want to. No, Does I Desmond think I'm have a sense good. of smell? Mm -mm. No, that's why I'm... So technically, He's good. I'd have to stay isolated for everyone else. But <laughs> hey, will you carry I'm, I'm seeing if me? I have anything to put it three in. Three all this shit Three meters. Us. Three meters. Uh, I can tell you, Desmond, this is not sense of smell this is literally like anti-magic oh is. so i would still yeah it decays uh, everything around it because the grass doesn't smell either and it dies mm. i don't even have anything to put it in i don't want to carry this it's not worth it we dude. could have the stinkiest bag of holding I uh, oh, like yeah. it like smells the awful. nastiest fucking bag didn't we find out that's a bag of devouring so wouldn't it just be eating shit <laughs> <laughs> We found out it was a bag of holding just with tears in it. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I could have sworn it was a bag a... of devouring. No, no, no. You guys, I think one of you guys okay. said Open that. Open up a portal. No, he said oh, okay, that. Okay. He guessed that. And then you said Oh, no. that's what it was. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, that's the thing that opens up a portal. Do you think this, uh, these troll pets would be good fertilizer for magic? Be I'm joking. They wouldn't. No. They're going to kill <laughs> everything. I'm leaving. Yeah, I got, I got a frog. Honestly, I'm happy with that <laughs> out of this. <laughs> God, you smell awful. <laughs> I think um, before they kind of leave the area, Andrasa would kind of go over to the water and just kind of like check out her reflection because she hasn't really done that. She wants to see what it looks like. It lasts for like 10 minutes. See the celestial so version? Be like, kind mm. of nod to herself like... <laughs> yeah, you can see yourself glowing in the reflection. Um, and you'd be able to head back down towards the camp. Uh getting there an hour and a half or so later on. Um, the buckets of water filled for in case you wanted to wash, uh, but otherwise uh, the kind of encampment there as you left it, uh, people just putting things together, gathering more resources to, to move on their way. Um, Catherine sat pretty much where you left her the last few hours, like pacing back and forth. Um, looks up at all of you. It's done. You got all of them, all five, yes? Mm -hmm. All five of them. All six of us <sighs> got all five of them. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you. Mm. The chest is yours. Um, I should go and clear away their droppings. Mm. And then I can get to bed. Is there any secret to getting the smell out? Because I fear that no amount of scrubbing will save Carlisle. Uh, the best bet is, uh, uh, if it's on your skin, I'm afraid scrubbing is the best you can do. Burn it should it fade on. in a little while. Uh, but if it's in, if it's on your clothing, their poo can be melted with fire acid. It's just on my clothing. Thank you. All right. Well, you burn it. It just winged me, you see. Mm. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. If, if you had, hadn't taken up that task, there's no knowing how big they would have grown. Mm. Out of character, if you didn't take that quest, you probably would have seen some gargantuan ones at some point. Holy um, shit. Cool. <laughs> like, just city-sized, like, rah. Yeah, Everything's our in. problem, dude. It's not like another party would have come along. Right, me. right, <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. We're just It's just good. our problem later. Good like, Samaritan. That's the <laughs> pit. Yeah. <laughs> just it's, our it's, it's our adventure. It's our adventure, so it's our problem later. Like, no one else takes care of it. Why did we have to be the protagonist? I don't even <laughs> do you guys, do you want a DD story where I make another group do all of the cool shit and you guys, <laughs> you're showing up too late? What you do is you like add another group characters. and we just get kind we of do like a dungeon over time. and we get to yeah. the end He's and then you, you reveal that the chest has been looted by the other party. I got to the, the final end of this campaign, the big boss and another group does it and you guys we are just outside. <laughs> and take their we show up and it's just done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fucking Godforged and they just win. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Uh, she passed across the chest uh, and, uh, and, and bows her head. Thank you very much. I would stay, but I should get going. I appreciate Have it. a nice sleep. Thank Good you. luck. Heads out into the woods to go and burn away the droppings so she can go in for her rest. Um, but leaving you with a, a chest of, of gold, gems, and all sorts. Four yeah, what exactly is in there? <laughs> so, you get to determine its its value. It's necklaces, it's like rubies, it's uh, rings, and all sorts of gold. It's basically oh. any collection of, of jewelry or, or, or wealth that they've accumulated, they put into this kind of small chest. Can you roll? So it's kind of like a mystery box of treasure. Um, Less so magical, but more so to see how much money you're going to get. We um, really should have established like a real rate <laughs> instead of like a fucking yeah. baggie full of gold. Well, of we know for value. next time, right? Uh, it is it's going to be quite a considerable sum. Um, it is going to be uh, uh, someone can roll this if they like. Uh, it is going to be 20 uh, D100s plus 500. So. Ooh. Can I like roll, roll it? Can I try to redeem myself? Yeah. Yes. You want to roll 20 D100 plus 500? If you botch this, if I you swear. fuck us, though. Yeah, if you fuck us, <laughs> if you you're fuck out. Us. You get 20 nat ones. There is a chance, yeah, there's a chance you get 520 gold. But, you know. <laughs> roll 20 D100s plus 500. Yes, please. A 20? No. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> What? Yeah. Oh, because there's a space. You put space. <laughs> space. <laughs> fucking yeah. hell, I was about to fucking lose it, dude. <laughs> you actually lose money. The money burns. Sam just like goes upstairs and yells. <laughs> just so like less than 500. This family is cursed. <laughs> Man, 20 gold in there. Like a fucking there, bird no just long. comes down, takes the chest, and flies into the woods. Was that all <laughs> fake? Hold on. <laughs> Try, uh, try trying again. Oh try again. God. I'm just gonna go take a bath. Holy fuck! Okay. okay. Uh, <laughs> a, a, a decent roll. Uh, yeah. Ish. Uh, you've got you got some low numbers there. Please don't do this uh, to me. Uh, just be like, yeah, I could roll, Dodger. An eight, a seven, a fourteen, a sixteen. But to catch up, there is a 91 and 97. Just below uh, average. It's just below average. Yeah. Oh, you um, gotta say that. But. Keep it to yourself. 1,487 <laughs> gold. Not too bad earnings. Um, a little quest. Add that by six. Um, that is where, you know. <sighs> unless you run uh, into a party fund. But you do get yourself just mm, under 1,500 mm. gold. Awesome. God damn. All right. Okay. Good job. Um... With your returning, where are you? Are you taking back onto the path? Mm. Then, and interrupt me if there's anything you do over the next few days. Uh, you would be traveling through the lower portions of the Glam Gate, uh, the northern portions of the Glam Glades, and pass by the road that that goes between the mountains, um, a small mountain range on either side of you. The course of the next several days is one where your group is becoming a little bit more comfortable with each other and 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 building up a kind of a repertoire um along with starting to get the foundations of your bastion going um you can see the the larger tents working any merchants they stop along the way buying basic supplies so they can build um uh weave cloth into tents or weave anything into into uh basically a base And if no one has anything they want to interrupt to do over the next few more days, eight days will pass. And you'll find yourself in the distance looking towards the capital of this region of Marigold. Marigold stands in, this, in the distance as a beautiful city built right next to a great waterfall that falls down into a great kind of cavern around the kind of northern portion of the city, um, it pours underneath the, the ground. It's almost like a great Niagara Falls. It wraps all the way around this top of this mountain um, for, for like two miles long, this waterfall, beyond massive. 
and it falls right there next to Marigold. Um, it is considered one of the most beautiful cities in the world with great flowers and trees, a tree which you can see kind of growing out even from this distance of like a couple of miles away. Uh, rolling fields with all sorts of flowers going on them. This is the heart of beauty. It is the place where all weathers kind of all accumulates into the greatest festivals in the land. And you stand there in the distance at what could potentially be the next vault and some answers. We're going to finish up tonight's episode there. Uh, and we'll start next time uh, when we come back with your bastion rolls to see what they do for the week as your kind of group is starting to accumulate together. Uh, but thank you for playing. Uh, we are off next week. But we're back the week after, coming back into uh, April the 7th. April the 7th is our next game. So off next week, April 7th will be the next game where we explore into Marigold. Um, and you get into a bit of a city life and uh, uh, buy supplies, enter tournaments, join festivals, explore and do whatever you guys want to do. Uh, thanks everyone for playing. Though. I appreciate you guys as always. Um, we'll do some shout outs and, uh, and then go from there. Uh, Dodger, do you want to shout yourself out? Oh, wait, actually, before Hello. we do that. I what? So I don't forget. No, Let's do I the don't. Bingo. JK. <laughs> I keep forgetting the bingo, man. So I'll, I'll do the bingo. Let me get this bingo. Here we go. You, can open up you the think screen. they predicted this week? Uh, Surely. I mentioned the word bastion, so maybe they've got some stuff there, but we'll see. Did you uh, mention the word shit trolls? No, no. Yeah. The troll pack. When are shit trolls going to come up? <laughs> <laughs> I really want long flowing golden hair to be on there. Yes. No. <laughs> That's always a winner. Yeah, I knew it when I was saying it. Um, <laughs> drastic yeah, well. NPC As it personality out of your shift. Mouth. Did any NPC. No, I don't think anyone had a crazy personality shift. Um, uh uh. Six level homebrew feature showcased? Yes. Hey! Uh, two of them. Shout out to Bree. Um, hey. uh, Andros has a Lucille Bluth moment. <laughs> yes. Her whole life is a Lucille Bluth <laughs> moment. Yeah. Probably uh, she did during everything. setting up the, the encampment fireball shit. Or, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. I did tell Solandril to have everyone basically draw them a bath when they came back. That probably <laughs> like, yeah. Just figure it out. <laughs> uh, Carla reveals a new expertise. Mm, no. no. Bastion starts with library. Uh, yes. Yeah, technically it's one of the ones that you, you started with. 30 plus ability check. Uh, uh, we did. I think so. Stealth check oh? for Carlisle's exactly 30, a 30, 30, 30, 30, you're right. Oh, yeah, shit. Nice. What about Astral Rays? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, Basically. but he, he just wanted to make he sure he gets... He did ask to get paid to, like, walk with us. Yeah, well... When is he going to pay us? <laughs> yeah. Um, mm, yeah, I'll say it, he did a money related one. I'll be generous. Morgan uh, examines the crater, finds something. Oh, uh, no, we didn't even look. Uh, party guilt no. trip for not freeing XYZ NPC. No, uh, no, you were not asked yet. about it, but you weren't guilt tripped because you rolled higher <clears throat> uh, than that would have been. Uh, tragic NPC backstory prior to coming to Sigenbrat. No. But yeah. Marigold's magic ask. props arrest just... mayor. Yeah, we didn't ask. They all just came with yeah. us. So... <laughs> you guys just kind of brought them along. Marigold's <laughs> magic cops arrest mayor. No. NPC therapy for Sigambratians. Not yet. No. Free. V attempts to comfort an NPC uh, oh my God. fails spectacularly. <laughs> no. Wow. Net one. No. Yes. Final beam yes. planted. <gasps> no. Combat to secure mm -hmm. space for Bastion. Uh, no. No? Because uh, you guys are, are going to be a moving bastion. <laughs> we just walk in, we're like, no, this is ours now. Us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, oh no, not, not, not yet. Uh, maybe soon. Tack <laughs> recognized in Marigold. You haven't got there yet. Angry mob <laughs> accosts the mayor. No. Nat 20, yes. Merc says no, this is dead. above my pay grade. Uh, no. Cursed free kind session of. banter. Uh, I don't know. They they said they just wanted a payment to come uh, with. They kind of said the opposite. They were like, yeah, pay us or we're not doing shit. Yeah. yeah. Cursed pre-session <laughs> banda. Did you guys? No, it wasn't no, cursed. You're probably no. Not nearly as cursed as what actually yeah. happened in the session, dude. That's true. Right? So. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. True. Uh, Bastion doesn't start with Roshram. Uh, no, sorry. No, I ruined yeah, it. Don't leave it to at all. Yeah. Uh, Desmond <laughs> is lead architect it. on... Lead, sorry, lead, lead architect on... The, <laughs> 
Same word, way often. Uh, 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 architect on the bastion. Shut the fuck up. He loves lead. Uh, no, technically not yet. You guys are uh, on the move. Desmond eats lead. <laughs> no. no eating arc. No bingo. Um, all right. Did we never bingo? I know. Well, you have all of the points to it. bingo, but we never we never roll well on the uh, on the positioning. Yeah, on the RNG. Uh, let's do some shouts, and we can finish up for the night. Doja. Hi, I'm Dodger. You can find me at Dex Bonus on pretty much anything. I've been doing lots of Cult of the Lamb. I'm trying to finish up Banishers. Um, just hanging. Come hang as well. It's it's nice. It's That's nice. it. That's all I got. It's nice. Sam. Hey. That's nice. <laughs> so just reach that stripping tomorrow. <laughs> Get in piss RP for every <laughs> campaign I've ever played of D and D. Did you ever think about the fact that I you're the common denominator? Like, yeah. you're yeah. the cause. It's you, bud. Like, yeah. I don't know what to tell you. I thought, I thought I that was actually going to be your first shout out. <laughs> I ain't do anything. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm just saying. This ain't me. Uh, right. Dude, you messaged me asking Joe's for trying it. to tailor our campaign, and he goes back and he looks at what we've done. Yeah. We've Wait, you don't like shit. What they like? Oh, dear. Piss yeah, on yeah, me. Yeah. I don't know what to tell you, go crazy for? I gotta, I gotta. I gotta change your legacy out of Bree. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh my god. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Bree by Dragon's Dogma 2. That's it. Hyperfixation. <laughs> Hyperfixation. Shane. Yeah. Cool. That's fun. I'm taking a, like a break day because I went to the Ren Fair for the first time yesterday. Ooh. Oh. Exhausted. Dude, did they have so mud of people? <laughs> Mud no. wrestling. Yeah, I've never seen that. Mud. There's no mud in. Yeah, yeah there's so no funny. mud in Arizona. It's all dust being kicked up. Yeah, they do dust wrestling. wrestling at the <laughs> dust cuddling. Yeah, that's true. In Chicago, <laughs> apparently, they do lots of mud wrestling. <laughs> oh, okay. That's what nice. we're known for. Uh, oh, gee. <laughs> Gross. Shout out to uh, my puppy. Uh, M O L G. You may have seen her just recently, right back there, jumping up at the counter where she's discovered that's where water comes from is the sink back there oh, and so no. she hurdles herself from across the room oh, when she's no. thirsty and right now she's tangled in a cord because she apparently is really thirsty so uh i might do stuff but right now i just gotta take care of puppies i know that's all i got yeah <laughs> don't fucking bite it dude <laughs> <laughs> uh and then uh if you want to see more stuff exclamation mark patreon in the chat you can see behind the scenes stuff uh i haven't been able to put out much this week because of the power cuts but i'm be posting something tonight but all of the troll pat story and stuff will go up there um if you want to use those creatures in your own campaign uh, my cast of little poo men um yep. but other than that we will take Do next I? week off uh it's easter holiday and we'll be back next week after that so on the seventh um for exploration to the city and where these guys go from there. It's kind of the next chapter of the storyline. Uh, so yeah, we'll see you guys then. Thanks everyone for coming out. We appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one. Take care and peace. Bye-bye.